So, the only thing I know about the culprit is about the inside of their mouth. Okay, um, I think I'm ready. Chat. You ready to get influenced? You're not ready yet? Okay, um, well, Ag, you're gonna let us know when you're ready and then we can start. Tell me what to do. Oh my god, I love you guys. Give me like 10 seconds. All right, we'll wait for you. The master works all, all you right. can't Woo, go I'm wrong. I'm ready. I am ready too. Um, you are going to witness me come up with a bunch of different eyeballs, noses, mouths, accessories, clothing, hairs for um, sort of like a default stock kind of token for stream or for myriad the stream games so that Instead of drawing every NPC one by one by one really slow, then maybe we can fill out the town kind of with a lot of throwaway kind of setting fluff that we can all turn mur murder hobos on and take out for fun. Or interrogate, like we like to do in the last one. RNG character design, yep. Is this for 80% of the populace? Yeah, I guess. Then I gotta make one for trolls, and then I gotta make one for serve. No, I'm not doing that. Unless we visit Troll Town, which would be really cool. I don't know. Snake dress up? Is that blurry on the screen? It's blurry on mine, but... Yeah, it's gonna be that way. Really? Um, I think you can change your Discord stream to, like, 1080. I don't think I can without having turbo or whatever. Oh. Yikes. Can draw really zoomed out.
Yeah. It, usually Ashley would be streaming, but there was some issue and I was kind of Apparently I went live on my stream instead. I know I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Sorry about that. A little strange. There's no way Stur's chest is that sculpted you haven't seen. All right. So the idea will be to swap out parts as we go. Start making up stuff. Make Stur take his shirt off right now. He does what he wants. It might be off right now. I don't know. I do think it's more blurry than it should be, though. Because, like... Even the Ashley text at the top got blurry because I made the whole scene bigger, and I think it messed some things up. Oh, okay. Wanna fudge with it or no? I mean... Maybe. You don't have to do anything. Alright, I'll just get started. I think Stur has ever worn a shirt on stream. It's all body paint. Yeah. The long con. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Jen. I'll probably tone that down. I was drawing this at... <sighs> what, like three in the morning last night? <laughs> Because I don't know if you know, Chad, um, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep lately. Certain, uh, discoveries have come out. Yeah, I'm a snorer. S Steve just won't let me sleep. I do, yeah, okay. Something changed on OBS where if you're editing something within a scene, it tries to bound its box to the... It's... it's I don't even know how to explain it. It's really weird. <laughs> you guys can see this moving around on screen. That's me very slightly moving my mouse <laughs> left and right. Like by... I'm moving my mouse about five pixels. You not type the boundaries? Type one? Guess not. People who snore are just selfish? God, I know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, too, because I was thinking of something I can do while you do your thing that you do, and then I could also stream thing, and then we would have the, the smaller Ashley cam, but I don't know what I do. You could show them your shortlessness. I don't think I can do that on Twitch. Oh. Maybe you can now? I'm not sure. It goes back and forth like every other week. Deadlift. Oh yeah, I gotta be in hot tub. We gotta change the, the the hot tubs and then I think I can do it. Wait, what if you put your feet in like a cup of water? Then you're like in a hot tub, right? Yeah. I mean it, you just have to be in the category. Oh, okay. It has to be hot. Well, how can you tell on stream if the water's hot? Seems impossible. Steam? It seems like a lot of effort to skirt a stupid rule. 
Like we could like green screen it, put some steam on there. The remote camera. I can tell you this, those otters are not in a hot tub. That water is cold. <laughs> Hey, Ronnie. On Discord, are you able to screen share only a screen region, or does it have to be a window? I looked for that. I didn't see any region thing, but maybe chat knows. So it has to be the a window. Thing I know about the ah. culprit is not the inside of their mouth. I mean, like since I went live on my stream, maybe that part of it was messed up. Mm-mm. Hey, thanks, Kid Shadow. Stir has a plan of who will be in the next games if they accept. He hasn't asked formally yet. He knows who he wants. Roughly. I, uh... Gotta be done before I ask people to join. And also... Mostly, mostly that. I was going to say that too, Ronnie. These are not height accurate. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'll do it. Are you are you going to be zooming in at all ever? Or it's kind of... Well, right now I'm not because it, that doesn't work. It makes it blurrier. Like here? It would make it less blurry if you were more zoomed in. I think. Uh. And then I can... Yeah, that's a lot better. And then I can just crop around what? that. That fixed it? Not strictly. I mean, it's kind of a workaround. Also, yeah, not the greatest posing now. Lewd? Because I'm shorter? Chat, I <laughs> This looks really <laughs> weird. That is about the height, though. <laughs> oh. It's gotta be accurate. Seriously, changing the size of the box is sliding where it is up and down. He's fucking huge. Yes, I am 5'3 and Stir is 6'2. If now I you can't see her shoulders that I messed up on. What? If I hug Ashley, she disappears. Yeah. If I ever want to like get away from him for a while, I just hug him. He can't find me. There he is. He's looking for me right now, but he can't see me. Where'd you go? Oh, Ronnie. <laughs> you can't bring up that memory anymore. It was wholesome with you, but there was another one it wasn't wholesome with. Delete yeah. all of your memories. Just going mm -hmm. through and deleting all my memories, you know? Not all of them, Ronnie, just that one. Still remember meeting Ronnie for the first time and it was sitting alone at a restaurant called the Fat Cat eating a burger by himself. It was really cute. And it sucked. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that place sucked. Now, one second.
The fat suck. Yeah, this place, like... They knew their food was shit, and they made up for it by giving you massive portions. That had the biggest plates I've seen anywhere. I think they were trying to get rid of the food. You know? Like, trying to launder it. Laundering food. You shall make a fine pet for Amy. Hey, gimmick. Thanks, dude. How do you notice when people sub? It's so easy. It immediately. Okay, well, you missed a few. Right there away. was Octo Pick Cake. <gasps> there was Kid Shadow. There was Consoler. There was M Pop Tarts. There was Cocooned Owl. You missed all of the. Actually, Cocooned Owl, I think, was before the stream randomly when it wasn't live. So you got like, uh. One out of five. And you're gonna tell me it's easy. You know, Steve, you're just sensitive. <laughs> you're gonna have to work on that if you wanna stay around. Yeah. Today, he swapped stories with fellow cyber junkies in the forum. Wizard Frog on head? I could. I can do anything. That isn't. Thank what you. Thank you for the sub, Wizard Frog. Oh. And John.com, dude, you got that. You got John.com. Dude, this is the first time you're thanking subs ever. So what you're you, welcome. What? I've done it before. I say me name. Yeah, this this lower Ashley's making me uncomfortable. Why? Can she get tall? Very fine. She's being creepy. She'll stand on a stool. Or hang her upside down like Spider-Man. Then I'd have to redraw her hair. You better be having some organized group folders. Oh, you have no idea. Good. Good. It's very hairsprayed. Possibly. Um, they're not made to randomly roll because I don't have a way of doing that. But we are gonna mix and match them in Photoshop. I imagine there has to be some program that lets you mix and match these very easily. But, I don't know. So we're just gonna... Just turn... Whenever I need an turn NPC. Turn off all the layers when you... Yeah, just move around, grab the ones that can make a thing. Yeah, that's the non-cool programmatic way to do it. Actually, huge. Ten thousand points to ask if people have thoughts on man tits. It's the sight of his bare chest, like disturbing your chat. I can draw some clothes. I mean, I don't even think it would need to be there. <laughs> no! In caps. You know what needs to be there? To have that much of the chest showing in the portrait. Well, like, they're gonna need different colors, right? It's not gonna be just their heads. Up to you, because that isn't gonna show on the token. It's like the amount of of chest that you can see on the lady one is fine. Oh, right now, you mean? Yeah. All right, I can move it down then. It'll just be 
having to draw like less for each thing. But I was gonna draw less down here. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm. You're in control right now. This is I'm your the stream. Fucking galaxy, dude. The whole thing. You're in control right now. Hey, thanks, Peppy D Forever. Posy vibes for the art dorks. What? You must be talking about Chet. Which one's Ashley and which one's Stir? Oh my god. Are you one of those people that ask, like, which character is Stir playing? Every five seconds when he plays Strive. True. That's private information, Stir Gazer. Nobody knows, not even him. Want to see Stir in a choker and nothing else? I have one. <laughs> Somewhere. Is that for the cat girl outfit? Mm hmm. Do you have the nothing else? Yeah, I think I can put that together. It is a, uh, oh god, it's a cat choker, isn't it? With a little it's, e on. it's either a little heart in the front or it's like a cat face. I think it's a heart. Oh god. I don't know if I'll be able to. <sighs> No bell? I don't want to jingle. Then you let people know that you're you're coming. So they can get out of the way. Ronnie, I'm going to tell your girlfriend that she's just a substitute for me. Ronnie, do you want to tell that thing that you told me? What your girlfriend said about Stir? So that was pretty fun. You don't have to. I think I might have heard that already. I can't. Oh, you told Stir too. <laughs> Ronnie's girlfriend asked if Ronnie was pansexual because of how much he loved Stir. Nice. Real? Oh. Sag. Real. I didn't know that. <sighs> I didn't know that either. Which is why I assumed it was a joke. Well, Ronnie, you know what? Uh, you can do better. I don't know. I don't know anything about <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, maybe Stir will be interested. Eventually. Yeah, maybe now there's a chance. Uh-huh. You're fine, no worries. Okay. Nice work. Here's the pay. Okay, Ash. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt and assuming you both have good taste. Whose chest has more hair? What? Whose chest has more hair between us? Between Ashley. you and Ronnie. Oh. No, between you and Ronnie. Why would you assume he's talking about Ronnie? Because he was. Oh. Okay. Ronnie, how about... I'm going to assume the answer is Ronnie. No, Stern Ash. See, uh, I'm... You make me doubt myself.
Okay. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. <laughs> weird champ. I love weird champ. Do you all want to see? The answer was equally as stupid as the question. The answer's always yes. I have nothing yes. to ask. I just like hearing Justin talk. Thanks, Pepe D forever. I agreed. Justin's the best. I want to... We were talking about this the other day. I don't remember why. We wanted a GPS Justin voice if we ever actually had a car. <laughs> or a reason yeah, to use GPS. Yeah, we need a car But that would be wrong. a reason to get a car. Turn right onto Street 14. I don't, do they call streets 14? I don't drive. I don't know. Street 14? Spoken by somebody that doesn't drive. Yeah, street number 14. <laughs> You know what the coolest area I've ever lived in, geographically, was Boston, because in the area, all of the street names started with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you, it was really easy to remember. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Teach us to drive. I was thinking about Arlington, actually going down that, that route recently, and it... Dude, cars cost too much money, and car insurance is stupid. Why bother? The renowned MMO Street 14. <laughs> Online, Marcel came across as a great and powerful warrior. Nightmare on Street 14. Life, okay. Was a different story. You mean this voice? Ooh, please turn right onto 14th Street. Jesus Christ, you missed it. <laughs> That's great, Mitchell. Hey, what do you say? what Justin said. Oh. <laughs> so passive aggressive. Justin's been through a lot. Thanks, Mitchell. Where do you live in the large city where you don't have a car? It's a city. You just walk places. Not that we're even directly in the city, but the trick is to just Look, when you go to like rent or buy or whatever, you look at where the grocery stores are and then you try and live in them. You go to this website, it's called walkscore.com and it has maps of big cities and like where you can live without a car on it. It was made for me. What else do you need beside a grocery store? Yeah, I mean, like, I haven't been to my work in months and months. Hobby shop? Amazon has, like, next day delivery. Dude, Who's... we're in the hobby shop right now. What do you think the stream is? Who's going to stores anymore? Can we just, like, destroy all infrastructure? We don't need it. Doctors, dentists, haircuts. They're in the same area where the grocery store is. Also, if you desperately really need to go somewhere, then Uber. I'm taking Uber it says it's own drawbacks. Yeah. For sure. Not that we've ever had, like, a crazy Uber driver. It's just, like... I feel like the weird one, you know? Like, recently, <laughs> we were in Uber, stirring me, and I had to puke so bad. So I was leaning back in my seat with my mouth, like, facing the sky, wide open, but he, the driver, like, couldn't see it because I had, like, a mask on for COVID. And I was just sitting there going, <laughs> a purse for puking. We had, we both had backpacks. Question mark, question mark, question mark.
And then we have a he bike. He went on a three-week video game bender. That Thank you for resub. His health, job, and wife. Big old. Yeah, I forgot about the bike because I haven't been on that one. We have a bike. Oh. It's an electric bike. It goes 20 miles an hour. It's basically like a moped, but you don't need a license. You don't need to pay insurance, and you can go down vert ramps. If if that if that ever happened, you would not be able to do that on a car. Clip is acting really weird. I'm sorry. One sec. I'm not acting weird. You're acting weird. Can you see my layers here? Or no? No, I can't see your layers. Well, good, because then you can't judge me before. No worries. The world? A city walkability? Austin actually sucks only because there's no mass transit really there's like buses but buses are the worst you gotta like get on them and be, well, be on them it's not that being on them is bad it's just the routes take so long to get anywhere yeah I should start I should start doing that to go to the ping pongs again. It was pretty easy. On the bus? Yeah. Going back would probably suck, but then I could just Uber back. Or talk to the people there that are willing to give me a ride. If they're there. And just, you know, be a uh, a leech on society. Hey, you know, I don't want to pay car insurance, but, uh, can guys, you do that? I'm trying to lower my carbon footprint. Can we perhaps carpool? Fond memories of standing in the rain at a bus station with two buses per hour after a long day of work for four hours without seeing a single bus. Jesus, where was that, Deshaar? Uh, I'll be right back. We can't kill you. Her. I'm dead. Close my door. Dead. The dog we opened all it. died, and now we're killing her. Pay it forward. Hey, thanks, Blavik and Wolf. Alaska? Oh, well, there you go. Nobody lives in Alaska. It's because there's only five people. Alaska is a myth. I mean, I've been there. I've been to Alaska. It exists. Don't get me started. Commuting to work in Chicago in minus 20 degree weathers and the bus doesn't show. Right next to the lake. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Remember looking at the lake, seeing it frozen and my eyes are fro feeling they're frozen over. Well, uh, back, back in the Boston days, um, I used to take the subway to Boston, or the subway to my work. And that involved standing out in the snow as well. It was not by a lake, though. Bostonians no cold bullshit weather. Not anymore, motherfucker! I'm moved! I am free. Now I get 100 degree weather every day, and I love it. 40 minute walk in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yep, yep. I used to live in Minnesota. You can only tell when I say the word Minnesota.
10 miles from the nearest grocery store. Oh. Also, we got that um, good shit. I mean, like the, like all the food delivery places just everywhere. Amazon ships in a day. So that's pretty nice. Minneapolis is so cold in the winter. That's the only place I've been where it's physically painful to be outside at times. I was there. Yeah, I lived in Minnesota. Um, you had the routine where you run out as fast as you could and started your car in the morning. So it would heat up by the time that you <laughs> had to drive in it. Kind of stonery eyes right there. Cool baked. Sounds accurate. Yep. You want to hear my ice fishing stories and the time I won the snow sculpting contest? <laughs> Throw water at your car to unfreeze the windows? Did you? I think that could crack them. Oh, I never did that. She has clothes on, they just made me adjust her height. Or move her bra up. <laughs> Little Miss Snow Angel? No. Um... We had a community event called Winter Wreckfest. And this is a true story chat, um, Prodigy, Young Child Artist. I won, like, the official logo contest for that, like, two years in a row across the entire fucking city. You can dig back and find, like, the snowman I made. <laughs> Clap, yeah, I know. What? The snow sculpting contest was actually pretty fu pretty fun. So I was what, like ten? I got all my best homies from school, and we all piled together and made a giant, like five foot tall ice skate out of snow, with a jump rope for the um, the laces. Pretty progress. <laughs> yeah, offense, that was a joke. My biggest kid feat is taking third place at state in storytelling using my own original stories. Gonna tell us the story. Big story guy? Or was that the story? Better not be boring! Yep, you got all these eyes on you now. Oh, thanks, Vince. Place first in a one hole golf tournament? One hole? <laughs> I guess if you were like nine or under, that would take hours to get a golf ball in the hole. <laughs> I want to know your score. Uh, later, Judge. How's the time to tell the stir bathroom story? <laughs> Come on, you guys are sick of that story. Surely we have new bathroom stories by now. Stir looks so smug. Yeah. I'm just sort of turning my brain off and doing little variations as I go. Maybe I should have them be bigger, but like the 
crazier I make them, like the crazier these people are gonna look. Yeah, the recent bathroom story where we did not have a bathroom for... I don't even remember how long it was. A month? More than that? <laughs> Steve was going in the woods. The bag bathroom, yeah, and I was going in bag. <laughs> This was um, uh, a few months ago when Austin froze over and we lost the water to our building because all the pipes were bursting all over the place. And thank God we didn't have any flooding in our apartment. But we did not go unscathed. Stur orchestrated the incident so he could shit in the woods without judgment. I mean, I judged him. Shouldn't they all look crazy? Uh, I don't know. It's like you gotta feel bad for them sometimes, right? I made English muffins and got water. That's what I did. I got muffins. I'm gonna eat my muffins. <gasps> this boy needs his muffs. Your girlfriend, Ronnie's girlfriend's name sounded like Sturs. Oh yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> oh. I have a joke about that, but I'll make that offline. <laughs> Context. Her name was Star underscore. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you find how did you find a star underscore? That's impossible. Like her parents named her that? Were they big fans? How young was she? Oh, sorry, ex girlfriend. I'm sorry. That probably didn't work out because of me. You heard about the whole cat girl thing. And you're like... I I just... You realize what you needed. <laughs> e, mm-hmm. Cat girl, question mark, question mark. Okay, this is... Been building on for a few months, but months ago, Momo and Stir agreed that they would cosplay as each other in a stream eventually. So Stir went on Amazon, bought the cat girl outfit that her avatar Momo wears, and is just sitting in the closet waiting for the stream to happen. One day. One day. Green wig? Yeah, dude, I have fucking... Yep. Like me oh, uh, mesh oh. leggings, I've got the cat ears, I've got the hair, I've got a choker. I got it all, man. I was talking to Jerma about this because there was always like, oh, Jer oh, like who's going to be a cat girl first? And then I saw his cat girl come and I was like, man, dude, that is oh, so he beat you to it. Yeah, he beat me to it, but he was showing it to me. I was like, that is so tame. That is not a cat girl. He was oh, like wearing was a T-shirt. <laughs> What was not dressing up like Sturge? He's dressing up like Guy to make it even more complicated. Yeah. And like the avatar's like done, isn't it? Cute. Uh, it is. So we're ready to do it when either of us feels like doing that kind of thing. We'll get there.
<laughs> guy guy stream, yeah. You gotta say it twice. For anyone who doesn't know, that's what it is. The master works all, you can't go wrong. Are you showing him? Yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> Fish nets? Yeah, it it's not quite accurate to that because she has like one leg that is and one leg that isn't. What got him? But close enough. Actually, wait, no, one of them's. I do think I bought two. I can't remember. Ooh. It, yeah, because they had to mismatch. I can't remember though. I gotta look. Oh, who subbed a thanks night, Peapod? Welcome to the Stormy. Shave my legs. I think it's better if I don't. It's just, your legs will just be bla black though. I don't think you'd be able to tell. <laughs> Except maybe the top thigh part. What is the stupid Japanese name for that region, Ronnie? The Bankai region? <laughs> Which is what I just keep using that word to replace any word I don't know in Japanese. Don't even know what that means. Kanzai? Okay, can't pronounce it. I don't even know. Like bleach? Yeah, I don't know where it comes from. Ronnie just says stuff and then we we, we parrot it. Well then, yes, to clarify, the only place you would be able to tell, probably if my legs were shaved or not, is my absolute region. Territory. I, ar I already got it wrong. And like, how many people just said it? Whatever, I translated it differently. You guys did it wrong. <laughs> Bankai is a sword stance from Bleach. It's in something else, isn't it? Can't just be Bleach. I've heard it too many times. You suck at being a weeb. We never claim to be professional weebs here. Dude, I have no idea what that means, Ronnie. Where would you have in a hoagie? A sandwich shop? Why would you think why would you think I can pass this quiz? <laughs> he wants you to, so you'll connect. No, he wants to tell people how much he knows about anime. <laughs> Bankai. What? What? I what? You can join the call if you want as well, Ronnie. Yeah, this will be faster. He talked. We're in the the Myriad actual one we used for the games. Which I think you were still in. Maybe you left because... No, you're still in there. The most fun I've ever had, by the way. Good <laughs> mustaches. Also, make sure to whatever degree is possible that um the female one should be facing the same direction so that you can use the same things on it like that hairstyle. Like if you could fit that same hair to the same dimensions. You know what I mean? True. I didn't even think of that. And then in map tools, if like I can always just flip tokens so the direction they face doesn't matter, but everything should be uniform. Alright, when I get, get to her, I'll do that. 
it's hidden from you? It says you're offline in it. What? Oh, we're not in there. Oh, my bad, Ronnie. We were going to be in there, but then I had to screen oh, capture uh, Ashley's right. Discord, so I have to add you to the call, which might screw some things up. God damn it. Yeah, this stream setup took a while. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'll talk quietly so I'm not too loud. I don't know how you have me set. You're good. Okay. Uh, uh, is, you might have to screen share again, Ashley, because it ended it. Oh. Uh, well, that's weird. So I knew when I said Aho gay, chat would lose their shit. Yeah. Cat I was thinking of how to make a joke about that, but it kind of makes itself. <clears throat> mm hmm. Aho gay. Uh a hoagie. A hoagie. Yeah, chat, that's what I can offer you today. A hoagie means stupid hair. A hoagie means cum face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Two that, levels of insult right there. That's dangerous territory to misspeak. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolute territory, if you will. <laughs> Zetai Ryoiki. There's also. Hmm. It's literally Trans stupid face. I like stupid that. hair. Oh, I had gal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, can you see my screen? Is everything back to normal? Yes. Is kao means face, but oftentimes when you link it up with other words, you soften the k to g. Just like uh, shinigami is death god, when kami is typically the word for god. That kind of thing. I think I'm ready to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. I just don't think Japan's ready for me. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, if, if you and I went to Japan, I'd take you to Harajuku and get you dressed up. I don't know what that I mean, means, but it sounds like... The district with all the cool dressed people. Mm -hmm. Right? Do I get yeah, points? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like what yes. Conan did, where he got his hair rainbow braided. Exactly. That's, that's, what, that's what you're into? Kawaii eh, style? Not really. I mean, I, I do like uh, Kerry Pami Pami and her whole style is Harajuku, but I don't have a specially a special uh, link to it an affinity but if i was a drag queen uh my 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 persona would be uh harajuku now a dress in harajuku style what's her name Ronnie? yeah true harajuku that, that's that's her name you can't... no you're drag queen yes that's what i'm saying that's my drag queen name harajuku are we, are we having a misunderstanding? Well, that's like the, the style of the clothing, right? Yeah, and it's a pun. Her name is Hera, as in Hera's Cherokee oh. Casino. Well, I don't know what you just said there, but... Yeah, man, I'm actually so lost about all of this. Listen, you invited me. <laughs> True. <laughs> How you doing, Ronnie? What's up? I'm fine. Okay. Hannah Duke. My drag name is Ashley Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, my... <laughs> that's like a local thing. There are Ashley Furnitures around the Midwest. That's Burlington Coat Factory. Oh, man, our, uh, we were going to go today. We usually would be going on Saturdays, but our gym trainer man that we go see together has a gigantic poster of Goku <laughs> hung up. 
And Which Goku? <laughs> I think it's a blue one. Hmm. A okay. great blue. Blue one Goku. Yeah. yeah, and he was talking about how much he likes Super, and I was like, man. Super's good. I can't relate to any of this. Where's Ronnie? <laughs> Super's a very, very late, like, I guess, sequel to the series, but they did a really good job. Oh, and yeah. he was talking about how much he loved Brawly, and especially the original Brawly, and I was like, man, I thought people hated Brawly. No, and, people loved Brawly. He got, like, he got two movies before even the new movie. Yeah, but I thought people hated those. Mm -mm. No, they love the Brawly movies. Or or is it the, they hate him now because he was saying some weird thing about how he was not evil and it was this weird, I, I don't know. I just, I, think, I, I, I swear think I even heard you anymore. saying some shit about Brawly before. Oh, I don't like Brawly. No. Okay, I'm sorry. I, it was, I'm it sorry. Was probably me you were Ronnie, hearing. I'm sorry I've been saying Brawly instead of Broly. Well, you're okay because it comes from broccoli. You're fine. Like, don't worry about the pronunciation of these okay. words. I just didn't want to offend you. No, you you could say Brawly. That's fine. But yeah, I was hey, like, Ronnie. I told him that he probably just likes him because he's jacked. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ronnie. What's up? You're my Broly. Aw. Well, you're my Raditz. No, like bro, least like bro. No, oh, okay. Well, you're you're rad, like Raditz. Aw. Oh, I'll take it. Fucking got him. Chat. Um, a few ch a few streams ago, we asked for a name from the chat to suggest for this guy to name his gym. And somebody suggested Ragnar ripped mm. because the theme was like Vikings. We told the guy, and he liked it a lot. So we're going to see if Chat has successfully named this random person's gym. He hasn't committed. Yeah, Just he should have picked by now. Yeah. Hmm. Ragnar, I have to say. Call it Brawly? Bruh. Will Chat get royalties? Absolutely. You'll get to continue watching straight. Paid an exposure to my stream. Yep. Take it. What happens if he doesn't pick the name? Then we we're quitting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last time I ever talked to him. Especially if, the, if it's something oh. much lamer like Thor's gym. Like what the like if yeah, then we're done. Thor's gym. Really uninspired. You know what pissed me off? That's a good name. Hmm. Sorry, Ronnie. Oh, I was just say, you know what pissed me off about Broly? New Broly is no, no, I don't. They they brought so old Broly was not canon, right? He was just in the movies. Movies weren't canon. And then they brought out this new legendary Super Saiyan. Like there's only like one in a universe. And but it was universe six, so they could also have one in universe seven. That's fine. So this really awesome woman uh, become the legendary Super Saiyan. And then when the Broly movie came around, they didn't even mention her. They're like, oh, we've never seen a legendary Super Saiyan before. Who gives a fuck? I'm like, no, no, she's she's great. Come on. Anyway, that's it. Is this the Overwatch team behind this? Yeah, pretty much. Like, they just forgot she existed. Man, they should have had you. They should have. Like, put me on that writing team, man. I will make some Dragon Ball. Let me <laughs> tell you. By the way, Chad, I really love Slim Jim. <laughs> That's a great gym name. <laughs> Elizabeth. Slim Jim. Oh, <laughs> Who is Elizabeth? <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Flutter feels like she might be one of the few people in the world interested in Ronnie's takes. Floater? That was both like a compliment and an insult. Uh, I'm interested. Go on, but nobody else. <laughs> Floater's a sweetheart. Yeah, we know. We know her. I know. I know you know your mom. I, I know that you know that we know. He's nice. He's showing interest. We're all like in knowing each body. other. Miss Elizabeth was Macho Man's daughter. Thanks, Scrunky. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what? I believe it, and I'm not questioning it. Miss Elizabeth was Macho Man's love interest. Okay. Miss Elizabeth. Okay. Oh, Scroggy. Macho Man Potemkin. Yeah. I feel like my enjoyment of Guilty Gear as a whole is like plus at, at minimum 25% because of the Slim Jim Potemkin. It really helps. Like if Guilty Gear strives, like, oh, it's like a 7 out of 10. Elizabeth! 8 out of 10. Easy. Grungy says, these look like an alternate universe version of the facade people. What is, what is that? Thanks, Elizabeth. Facade. I'm wild. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's so many are so good. I love how many variations of Slim Jimmy has. Slim Jim, Slim Jim, Slim Jim! <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need... Uh, more total overhaul voice mods for characters in Strive because they're, they'd be great. But I don't, all the mods anyone makes are like very slight recolors of their favorite character and then removing their clothes. Mm. Except Geo's, Geo's was perfect. They have like full ass nude mods. Yes. Mm. And And oh. everything in between. Of right. like May with only her shoes off. <laughs> oh no, Jacko nude. Oh, I want one with Jacko without her oh. mask. I think that'd be cute. But she can like take her bit. mask off apparently if she does a taunt during, after she wins a round. I know, but I hate her mask. I, I I agree too that it is not nice to look at. Their mod for removing May's voice, um, maybe replacing it. There's one that replaces all of May's voice lines with Tatsugeki. T word I can't say. Yeah, that. There's a couple that remove her voice, and then there's the Potemkin when he does Hammer Fist. He does the slow motion Tatsugeki. <laughs> I think I saw that. I think I, I should have that one, but I think sometimes he still says Slim Jim shit. Oh, it's random. I haven't looked in a while if there's any new mods, but they're always just skins. A super muscular dolphin. Oh, that one where Pot gets replaced by a oh, maze dolphin. Pretty great. Art stream, people happy. Same. I am the same way right now. Oh, what? The Mantra Man pack got updated? What? I hope they made it like 500% louder. I don't know. No. Merry Christmas. I assume that chatter must be from John Stream. Oh, they, they all they changed was replacing the Korean version of it. Oh.
<laughs> so yeah, um, the, the devs put out Guilty Gear. It was completely unfinished, but the community finished it for them. Basically. Y'all? And yeah, looking at it now, it's just like, hey, here's a whole bunch of Jacko recolors. And her saying the South Park kick the baby when she kicks her minions. That's something. Kick the baby! Uh, reference, I remember. I remember. I remember the 90s. Man, just make what? every character Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> I want one <laughs> Alex Jones character. <laughs> man, I'm a man. The answer I was the food. Food. Just, just the screams question. the most random shit. I'm gonna hug my sister, brother. <laughs> hey, it's Jesus, Mo. Mo Jesus. Everybody needs Mo Jesus. I will eat you and I will eat you. The Mike Tyson? I'm the champ. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss you. What am I doing to stir? It's not stir anymore, it's... Amalgamation. Of many different men. The many men man. The many... The, the many, many man. man. His name is Manny. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like 2D with these. Oh shit, they got a whole like Bardock armor outfit for Soul. Oh shit, dude. Bardock. Yeah, I don't like Bardock. Well, it's just like the Saiyan armor. Oh, that's fine. Oh, black armor. Yeah, Nappa's armor. I love it. I love the black armor. The fucking DBZ mod Moon was playing in. Uh, Risk of Rain, man. With Goku as the main character. Pretty good. Yeah, looks like there's a lot of work put in that. I'm supposed to Krillin armor. He wore the black armor, which is awesome. Oh my god, Vegito outfit for Nago? Man, oh dude, oh, we're in the full DBZ conversion. Actually looks really good. Vegito's outfit in general is a bit boring, but I mean, he, Toriyama was doing his best to mix the clothing of Goku and Vegeta, so that's about the best he could do. Yeah, gotta remix those existing characters. Well, I mean, he was a fusion. That's the thing. He was a fusion between the two of them. Vegeta and Kakarotto becomes Vegito. Os, Oracle cool. So, how old is Masako Chan now? Are you planning on writing stories or novels based in the mirrored universe? Well, we were talking about a comic. Yeah, John was saying earlier that he was going to... We were planning a comic. I drew two pages of, like, the layout for them so that we could learn the style and what we were going to do with it. 
He said he was just going to do those. When did um, he say that? Today. Today. Uh, no, Woo! no commitment to like finishing it or following through with that. But I would very much like other things to exist. And down the road, it would. It's not the priority right now. Because as we've run more D and D games, we'll have more lore written, and more of uh, a chance of that sort of thing happening. Yep. Where is this frog? I don't know. Frog on head or pre-recorded. The frog is on my head right now. I'm just not on I'm not on the screen anymore. I'm trying to do the DreamWorks. Looks like that bee trying to fuck the lady. Uh, I think he looks like he just sat on a tech. But it's trying to play it cool. Jerry Seinfeld. Is that from Seinfeld? No, no, no. Jerry Seinfeld played the bee that wanted to fuck the lady. Oh, bee movie. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. I, when you said bee, I thought you meant that like it's short for a... Or for what? Nothing. <laughs> Short for Obama. Mm. Oh, bummer. Am I right? <laughs> John Z. Monson. The beach, yeah. Life's a beach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta I gotta do something. Am I distracting? You no. don't have to chat. No. 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 All right, Stir, you want to watch all of DBZ with me? No. <laughs> all of it? How long would that take? Well, I I would probably just skip through the uh, the, the filler. And no, Chad, I'm not going to watch Kai because they cut out the good filler. So we'll watch the first episode and the last episode? <laughs> hmm. Actually, no, you don't watch the last episode because uh, DB Super takes place just before the last episode of DBZ. Okay, so we'll watch the first episode. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we get to skip Super. I mean, if I was going to watch a whole show where everyone was named after a vegetable, That's I'd watch the sands. I'd Continue. watch Chowder. Mm. Being Chowder isn't a vegetable. Yeah, I know. I mean, just food. Just food. Okay, food. <laughs> just food. See, the Saiyans are vegetables. Uh, Frieza's minions are fruits and dairy products. Do 
Dude, they should do like a crossover anime where like Naruto gets Isekai'd into Dragon Ball Z. Cool, because then that would mean Naruto is dead, right? Well, that's the thing. So, Naruto is jump, right, chat? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dragon Ball, Naruto, uh, no, no, I'm, One Piece is jump. Sorry, not Naruto. One Piece is jump, and uh, so is all the JoJo shows. So, they are, like frequently put them all in the same video games. So, you get to fight Goku versus Monkey D. Luffy or JoJo. We'll watch all of JoJo. Jojo the Shoujo? Naruto's jump too? Okay, well, there you go. Hmm. Jojo Siwa, yeah. So, the only thing I know about the culprit is... Hey, thanks, Feral. Feral? Uh, no, Monkey D. Luffy is played by Krillin's voice actor, not Kuz. Just watch Beastars again? I cannot. I know where it's going. Who is talking here? I am Ashley. I am your soul. That's Ronnie. I am Stir. That is Stir. Ashley is the one drawing. Chat, you should all watch Sakamoto Deska. You're not gonna offer anything else? Just like do it? No, it's 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 only twelve episodes. It's funny as shit, and it's cool. Ever see that weird anime called like Alien Nine? LA Nine. Alien. No, I've seen Nia Under Seven, which is also uh, uh, Alien anime. Oh no, Maybe this all looks the Alien dumb. animes have numbers in the names. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. Is this baldness disturbing you? Oh, I'll we'll get on that. Nichi Show. Yeah, I've watched Nichi Show. I love Nichi Show. I've also watched Danshi no Kokosei. Danshi Kokosei no Nichi Show, which is not really related, but it's kind of like Nichi Show meets Asumanga Dayo. Yeah. Bankai? That's not a thing. Oh. Oh, my bad. I am gonna make the book weapon. <gasps> the tomes. Yes. So I hold on, I have to use my brain. There was gonna be book shields. I know they were different. I don't think I made those yet either. Book shields? Well, no, some of them were kind of like books. They were the more weird, bizarro, like fetish occult items where you could have like a fucking fetus in a jar and it's your shield. Oh, the Death Stranding. Okay. Yeah, the Death Stranding. Baby. I have seen Hina, Hina, Hina Matsuri, Miss. Netflix just announced a live action cowboy bebop. Will it be as bad as the live action Death Note or will it be okay? Okay, chat. All I've seen are the screenshots from that, but I'm going to ask you this question. Why is it that in shows in particular, when somebody dresses up like an anime character, 
they always have like the crispest, cleanest, brand new, bright neon outfits on. It looks so stupid and fake. I hate that. Because they don't understand the limitations of animation and that you can't make them all as grungy and and normal as they would normally look. So they're like, oh, we'll just translate it exactly because we have no creativity or imagination. I mean, they could. <laughs> People are stupid. Yeah. No joke. I think it's because of the camera lighting. Possibly. The well, problem is, it looks like they made his suit out of, like, freaking vinyl. Yeah, like, if he moved, it would crack. Hmm. He's like, he's doing that sound you hear, like, <laughs> when he walks. <laughs> they just have to dub all his lines because they can't hear him over their freaking suit. Has there ever been a good live action anything? That's a good The cl um... As far as anime... Oh, sorry, stir. Um, um, I don't know. Just you know, processing all of created media for anything live action that was good. No, or, means like or an specifically an anime something. adaptation. I think the the Avatar live action was pretty good. Okay, you're just trying to cause trouble. And what was there was recently one that was like a Street Fighter mm -hmm. one with Chun Li. <laughs> mm hmm. So. The best. And I, okay, I know it's not anime. I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. I thought The Witcher show was not bad, and I thought it could have been extremely bad. And that was pretty recent. And I know that's not anime, but he's fucking anime. Come on, man. Uh, lead actor for that was just perfect. You know what? He looks like he has never taken a bath, and that's perfect. <laughs> That's absolutely what I need. He came into work, he stunk real bad, and I gotta say we loved it. Yep. So it was never an anime, it was a manga, but um, uh, Edge of Arrow starring uh, Tom Cruise. It's not even a faithful adaptation, but like as far as adaptation goes, it's a really good movie. I don't know. I was thrown off by by Tom Cruise. That seemed like the wrong choice for that character. Too I old. think he did fine, but yeah, like any actor would have worked there. It was a good movie. Well, a younger actor. Hmm. He's supposed to be like this inexperienced. That nobody. like recruit. Yeah, recruit. I mean, sure, he, he was tried. already. He did the best job he could. <laughs> yeah. We Chris Pratt in that role, I think, would have been better. I, no, I, no. I disagree with that sentence, no matter where it's applied. <laughs> Sir Loin. This day. Uh. Yeah, I watched a live action Death Note movie like 15 years ago and like. I knew way less Japanese than I do now, and even then their acting was so bad I couldn't finish it. With a Netflix Netflix original label? Have you checked out Castlevania? Anime of the anime? That's a good one. I'd like to meet one of the people who worked on that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but they did rip off a myriad, so I'm kind of kind they, of mad at them. They did. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, expound on that thought? Uh, <laughs> their their version of death is basically Seymour Butts. It's really funny. <laughs> like he swears, he's like uncouth, and he's gigantic. <laughs> He's got a skull head, and it's like, fuck! It's just him. It's just him! <laughs> well, they put me in fucking Dream Daddy, so I guess we all have problems. He tricks a bunch of people, it's like, oh, God. I believe Seymour Butts made it into Castlevania.
It I'm was perfect to find too. out his real name so we can stop calling him Seymour. Mm. Uh. No. Nah, just call him Seymour. All right, Seymour. Who are you in Dream Daddy? They're like I a red-haired character. Yeah. I mean, I don't quite have red hair, but I do have a red mustache. Oh, is that that dating game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're in that game. I remember mm -hmm. now. It's kind of weird. Actually, I'm about as hairy as him, too, since we we're talking about how hairy I am. His chest is about my <laughs> hair level. Nice. Good job growing all that. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of work. When I was like 16 or 15, I hadn't started growing like a beard and I really wanted one. And I had one hair in my chin and I was so proud of that hair. I'd play with it and tug at it. And <laughs> And then it came right out, and I was like, oh. <laughs> then you never trimmed your beard again. Mm -mm. No, I trim it. I use a 7 8 uh, trimmer attachment. And then I, uh, I will sometimes trim down to make it like a neat line. But why? They can store crumbs for later. Yeah, and it's funny too, Charbon, because uh, my friends growing up were all Mexican and they had mustaches, every one of them. I didn't have nothing. I was so jealous. It wouldn't have even mattered at my high school because they would make you shave it off anyway. Oh, I can't even imagine a school doing that. Oh, Again. did you go to Catholic school? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We had like uniforms. They weren't like the they were like Japanese uniform level. It was like you could only wear this type of shirt. Mm hmm. Yeah, I went to a Christian school for two years and it was like black slacks button shirt. But I'd wear blue slacks because I was partially colorblind and they'd be like, you can't wear blue slacks, it's gotta be black slacks. I'm like, I can't tell the difference. Thinking back, like, I wonder if they had a deal with Old Navy because, like, Old Navy sold every single variety of thing we could wear. Mm -hmm. Mexico is the same, Nar. Yeah, some, something's going on there, right? Ken hair. Conspiracy by the old Navy Corporation. Gap. <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they invented Catholicism to sell pants. <laughs> Principal of my school used to tell me to get a haircut every time he saw me. Dude, I applaud you for not doing it. <laughs> it's some kind of pressure.
will say I did like uni uh, uniforms or at least a dress code when I went to uh, Christian school because it's like I don't have to figure out what's the what's the cool t-shirt to be wearing today. Should I be wearing ACDC or fucking My Little Pony? I didn't have to figure that out. Assimilate. Diaper up, I bro. Did, yeah, I did wear a diaper. We kind of had to. Mm hmm. Having 10 pairs of the same shirt makes it a lot easier. You one of those? Are you a cartoon character? Yo, I was that person, actually. I had the Doug Funny closet. <laughs> I had the exact same pair of pants, like eight of them. Every year we would go school shopping, and I'm like, there it is. Let's get another. <laughs> Did you ever get accused of like wearing the same thing over and over again? Yep. I was like, nope. Well, he does now. These are uh, got different pairs. Yeah, I wore slacks until I was like thirty, and I said, "Wow, jeans are great." So no jeans. Me and Ashley were watching a, a show about how, um, like, clothes were made in medieval times, and they were talking about how <gasps> no. a good shirt would last someone two weeks, right? Uh. Or was that something else? Between launderings, you mean? Oh, that might have been part of a good bird show. I'm just Seinfeld. remembering Whatever it was pit. called. Anyway, point is, you know what? Washing your clothes all the time? Two weeks. You got two weeks for a shirt. Easy. Mm -hmm. No deodorant. Two weeks. Living in, like, ankle-deep grime. Kids these days would vibe with Doug? No way. Dude, I didn't even vibe with Doug. <laughs> yeah, if you like watch Doug through like an adult's eyes, you just think about what a selfish prick he is. He he's like he's this basket case who just doesn't think about anybody but himself. He, he's a psychopath. I love Doug. And it's like he was like hella simping on Patty Mayo. A mohawk with a mustache? Could be possible. I don't know. Like, people go crazy in this world, so maybe they just shave their heads. And fucking dug at alopecia. Though I did like the, uh... What was the name of the band? The Beats? Uh, the Yes, the beats. And their hit I song, I Need More Allowance. Food. Why? Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> that little avatar of Liana is so cute. Not as cute as a real form, though. I had a plan. Maybe I'll still do the plan. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. How would you still do plan? You're going to have to find out. Well, as the DM... Isn't she fucking dead? <laughs> no! <laughs> How am I oh, gonna wow. find out? Me she's still alive in the reboot, right? Okay, okay. Well, the reboot originally was not going to be the canon. But now, I guess, the reboot will be the canon. So she's and alive. Liana is alive in it. Yes, and so is Kenneth. And Raneth. Fuck you, Star. Yeah, I guess. 
But what about and the John, myriad Netflix Beast. original? And that's it. What, Ronnie? Oh, I was going to say the, the myriad Netflix original. Yeah, coming soon. Hmm. The Reneth Avatar or team of did Wayland die? No, he got out of the blast radius, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did. What? He did. Hypocrite? No, he didn't die. He got out of the blast radius. Okay. With his gun. Seymour's head oh, yeah, I got across him. the countryside looking for him and then just zapped him with laser eyes. <laughs> Never look at me or my dragons again. <laughs> I gotta make guns again. Yeah! Again. Oh, awesome. Like the fourth again. You don't have to give us guns. I might not do it for the first reboot game because there were no guns in it anyway. Yeah. Except, well, except there were, Extra. but there weren't. Like other people had them? Yeah, there was a whole side area where some dudes had guns and the mercenary guys that you talked to had guns and Ronnie had gun. Never came up. Lots and they were on the loot table. Well, they worked, but I've redone a lot of weapon stuff now to the point where I would want a much more intelligent way to track uh, ammunition. It was kind of janky. Would it still work the same way with Twin Souls? Like one of them reloading and the other one shooting? Potentially. Sweet. What would be different with guns? It's an internal code thing where because you have an icon now that equips your weapon, I would need to track what amount of ammo that gun has while it's not equipped. And that could get really extensive. As far as? Um, as far as... Guns were always meant to be, like, kind of like a single fire. They take time to reload, so you might just only shoot it once during a combat and then not use it anymore. So, potentially, if you want it to make, like, a gunslinger, you could have, like, five revolvers that you switch through that were all loaded at the start of a fight. But I need to make sure that all the ammo in them is accurately tracked so when you pull them out, it is what it was supposed to be. Because if you just take off the weapon and put it back on, and it's like, I, I can't assume that it was loaded. Because then you're kind of cheesing the whole thing. How much, um... How much juice has map tools left in it for you? What do you mean? Like, when do you think you're going to have to graduate He's from it? Uh, as far as limitations. Oh, gift. First of all, Ooh. KKCG, thank you for the gen. gen <laughs> I can't. The 10 what? gifts. This isn't my stream. I shouldn't be having to thank you. You know what? Thank Thanks. you, dude. Thank you, KK. Thank Why you. did you give those? There's no message attached. I don't know what your intention is. Thank you. Uh, then I want to know, though. To Ronnie's question, I think the, the life expectancy of map tools is when. The masterworks I, all, you can't go wrong. Like, if the streams are popular enough and things are going well and I have enough money to dedicate time to a standalone creation. Because mm -hmm. map tools... Ha I can do everything I need to do in it. It's not ideal. If, it wanted, if I wanted to push this forward in a serious manner, it would have to not be map tools anymore. But map mm -hmm. tools has been really great for prototyping things very quickly. And... Mm -hmm just th dropping things on. So I feel like once we're at that point, if we ever get to that point, then it would be very easy to say, this is exactly what needs to be made. We know the full scope of everything and that really simplifies uh, a recreation of it. Yeah, I feel like if you had tried to switch even like recently, you would still end up with a product that you would have to start over anyway, because you would have learned so much more by the end of it, you know? Possibly. It, it would be good to 
to start over and try and transfer what I can. Because, like, a huge amount of time went into making the random descriptions. But, like, they're done. I don't... You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> they use some map tool code within the descriptions, but we could kind of just do a find and replace on all of that if you had it all collected together. So it, it's... When it's worth switching, I want to switch. But if it's never worth switching, then map tools is fine. Yeah, because I, I know that, um, like, I, I know enough about software that, like, uh, like when you do graduate from it, or if you do, then you will immediately have the ability to um, to go to different platforms as well, including browser based and mobile. I've and, seen some uh, this... really cool things oh. with um, what HTML5 can actually do with games now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, extremely. Wait, play Myriad on your phone? Yeah, that would be easy. What? Dude. Yeah, if, if you would have to, the hardest part would be designing UI for it. Mm -hmm. Browser based is cringe. What's the name of this game? Mad World. Chat. Check, <laughs> check out this game. Um. Hold on, let me find it. It's like a Ragnarok Online looking game that was made entirely to be played in a browser. But the technology supporting it is so powerful, it's like barely a browser game. Uh, it's been in a beta. It hasn't come out yet. I'm really interested to see when it does. It's also got a cool... Uh, theme of like grotesque gross monsters kind of myriad-esque honestly but yeah i mean if they can pull that shit off in a browser then doing a turn-based tabletop in a browser i think roll 20 might give you the wrong idea of what is possible <clears throat> roll 20 like i don't know how powerful it is but like front facing it feels terrible Mm -hmm. But it, it is not uh, indicative of the true power of HTML5 or browser in general. Mm -hmm. The art style looks good. Have I seen that? Um, check it out. You might not have. I think I showed it to you once because some of the bosses are really cool looking that you would enjoy. But it is, it is honestly now that I look at it again, fairly myriad. Oh, a little well, bit you more. Show me cool art all the time because that's yeah that's makes how it be we'll check on that later funny you say this stuff is i have been developing a tabletop game engine for the past few months that i was hoping to show off in an old server old server what does that mean Babblefish. GitHub. Oh, GeoCities. I think Sultan brought up that you were working on that as well. Yeah, you want to compare notes. <laughs> Dungeon and Final Fantasy can't talk. Nice. <laughs> oh. I'm on the final level, mom. Leave me alone. But yeah, no, maybe, pause it. maybe it's my bad that I'm not promising, um, you know, 10,000 sub goals that I can't fulfill so that we can get to this kind of stuff quicker. But one step at a time when it makes sense. Kickstarter in the future, potentially. I mean, Wait. dude, just right now, put it up 20,000 subs. No. And I'll start making it for you. Yeah, I think there's enough people in here right now that we can get 20k subs by the end of the day. I want to mm -hmm. end this stream in style, but I we need, need 20,000 subs. Mm -hmm. I also need a playlist with less sad music. You playing sad music over my stream? Well, it's lo-fi hip-hop music beats to relax and study to. I'm not relaxed right now. I'm jazzed. I am not studying. Um... 
sorry. He would rather play the video games than be with me, so Dang, thanks, Resume. Nice! We are 1% closer. Probably Woo. not even that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's really nice. Everyone enjoy your birds. He would rather play the video games than These be with me sexually. He's best emotes on Twitch, so I'm in. Fuck, it works. Detective Yarmas, thank you, you. everybody. Yeah, exactly. Firehand. I, I, I'm not sure how serious you could take it, but he's like, yeah, go guys. Thanks, Yarmas. Thanks, Firehand. One percent of twenty thousand would be two hundred. True. Almost there. Steven? What? I'm almost there. He would rather play the video games than be with me. KK's doing his part. Her part. Their part. Shit, I'm almost there. JKCG, thank you. Thank I mean, you. Holy shit. I think I was at like 800 at the start of the week. Video games then be with me sexually. Sega White, thank you. Sega White. You're the sport. You are the sport. Approaching 1%. We are Thank literally you. half. Oh, I thought like, we're like halfway there now, at least. Nice. Mm. 18,842 left. This guy's got yeah, the short for hair. If you got a gift sub, though, make sure you thank the dude. Why is everyone losing points all of a sudden? He's, the points he's economy is crashing. Trust in my body. Is this how you show your like appreciation, your hype? I don't understand. Twenty thousand subs is a lot. Imagine all of the people and artists you could pay in a timely manner with ten thousand subs, even half oh. of twenty thousand. Up front. Actually, we do have a myriad piece commissioned with a good friend of mine that's gonna look being sick. Yeah, I was gonna. I I think I got cut off earlier and totally forgot I was gonna bring it up if people wanted to see the work in progress. But I don't know if I already showed it a while back. No, we'll wait and on if, it. And I do want to wait because it's kind of. It's at mid roll. It's not yeah. As pretty as it's going to be. It looks kind of gross, but because it's being, <laughs> it's like the foundation of what will look nice. Yeah, it's a like a shot of. A central square in the capital city. Fucking bloodborne as fuck. But imagine if you didn't pay them. No. No. No, no, no. Pay them in the channel points? <laughs> No, your channel points don't go anywhere. They just disappear. Yeah, they're they're. Well, I technically have infinite channel points, but I can't really give people channel points. Hmm. I have tried to play Darkest Dungeon many times. Kind of bores me. I'm looking forward to it's Darkest cool. Dungeon Two. That's uh, more roguelike and shorter, rather than a like a full life commitment to finish a run. And I've watched hours and hours and hours hours of Bauer play Darkest Dungeon, so it feels like I played it. <laughs> yes, Bauer has really cute costumes for his um, crew. Wow, that's an abuse of power, highlighting your own message with your endless points. Mm-hmm. Also still having the founder subscriber badge to my own channel. I might be one of the only people on Twitch who has that. Wait, why? Why do you have it? 
Because I subscribed to myself. Okay. Which you cannot do anymore. Oh. Oh, Canassus has it. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, people have it. I'm saying as a streamer of my own channel, I don't think anyone on Twitch has a founder badge for their own channel. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Because back in the day, long, long ago, in the before times, I don't think you could use your own emotes unless you were subbed to yourself. Holy shit. Yeah. Indeed. So there might be some other people that did what I did and subscribed to themselves. But I had like a... I had like a 50-month sub streak to myself. <laughs> And even after they started offering uh, subs to yourself, I continued my own subscription. I don't know why. And it's like hard to like go and find the button and cancel it. It is giving yeah. Twitch money, but I wanted my own emotes that I made for myself. Yeah, pretty good. And then they, they finally cut it off at some point that anyone who was sub to themselves, they just like canceled them all and you couldn't do it anymore. Later was auto sub to herself. A weird form of masturbation. <laughs> oh, yeah, start resub. I remember I'd always make jokes, actually, when I would resub to myself. Like, yeah, man. Oh, man, my favorite viewer coming back. It wasn't me. It was me. Who made stir blonde? I can make stir anything you want. Oh, God. Here, you want to see his feet? No, I just want jazz songs without fucking trumpets or brass instruments in them. Oh! Ah! Show feet. <laughs> Why does he only have four toes? That's what you were questioning here. <laughs> Do not diss brass. It's a lot worse. Does when it smell like foot to you? It's in your headphones. To me. Like if it were actually played in a room. But when it go when it's injected straight into your ear sometimes. I feel like I'm dying. She looks so impressed at my feet. <laughs> Look what I yeah. can do. <laughs> Please start sucking on that toe. No. It's my madness. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved my feet and my head. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> but can can bows shoot allies? Does that Who made the system? Can a bow shoot an ally? Is there ever a benefit to shooting an ally? No. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, they're trying to give away a secret. Double check. There we go. <laughs> and no chat. He wouldn't be floating. He's now sitting on his butt and they're at equal eye level, finally. Yeah, that's why we're at the same height. Okay, you can't. Calling here. 
means a big payday. <laughs> Someone tunes in the stream right now. What is that? <laughs> healing arrows? Ooh. Oh, I love healing weapons in games where they don't do damage, they just do heals. I promise what I'm drawing makes sense, Blaine. Blood. blood, I promise, I promise, I promise. Sega White, three bucks. Can you put a bucket on his head and drill holes for his eyes? I actually did draw an NPC like that. Oh, yeah, you not did. A, not a bucket, but like a helmet. Like a bucket. Sounds a little specific, I don't know. But for $3, I'll consider it. Pre-recorded messages. I'll barbecue your ass. Flat. Okay, we're doing emo hair now. Boom. Mm -mm. I am very slowly at the absolute snail's pace trying to figure out what makes the manuscript weapons different from what other weapons i have so far decided the range i'm doing very well i'm not distracted pleasure doing business i don't have to... <laughs> three more bucks what about now Explain why. Is this like your character that wears a bucket on the head? Or is my drawing so ugly you want to cover it up? Oh, here was the old one, I think, is what you're thinking of. It was a guy who whose helmet was stuck on his head forever. Are you showing it? Yeah. Here you go, six People bucks. People bring food to you or you keep food stashed next to the computer because you literally Hell do not deal. want to get up from the computer. Be bother. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Oh shit, and there was this one I forgot about. What is it? Um, just another generic guard you drew once upon a time. But it was in a different folder than it should have been. Uh uh. Wanna hear more Seymour? Well, we'll see if the party comes across him, you know? I would assume so eventually, but um, services rendered. Pleasure doing business. Well, the reboot game is gonna have the same chance to be inhabited by Seymour, I guess. Which is awkward because that's obviously a huge spoiler point for the people who hopefully haven't seen it before in chat will keep telling them all these things that they should know. Uh, but that one's kinda hard to work around doing slightly differently so chat couldn't spoil it. Um, so Just he'll ask him not to read chat during the game. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, he... so Seymour will probably be in that game again. And I don't know. I have a lot to think about on where the campaigns were going to take place in the timelines. It's definitely a good chance to reboot. But uh, the second campaign with the, the moon group was going to take place at the fortress that was nearby sideways so there might have been a chance for some uh a Crossover. look at what had changed because it would be like a year later yep um but now that i suppose is also in question because that relied on the other campaign concluding the way that it did did Stir get started on Twitch? Yeah, he had a big YouTube channel, and then YouTube stopped paying everyone. 
No, they over. did. I just wanted to try Twitch because YouTube was exhausting. And I wanted to, when Overwatch came out, stream Overwatch rather than make Overwatch videos. Yeah. But I, I guess at that point, I had already on and off kind of streamed a bit of random other stuff. I was talking to Octo about it last night. Like, I've been streaming since Livestream.com and Ustream were websites. Mm-hmm. I got to watch the stir stream in beta when I went to his house. Ooh. This used to be a strike vector stream. I don't know. You been to stir's house? Can you believe it? I can. His parents weren't home. Isn't that naughty? Ooh, woo. <laughs> I'm telling Mama B. She found oh. out later. I, I didn't realize you still had the feet there. Are they bothering you? No, no, it's fine. I just forgot that someone brought it up now. Like, yeah, there's still feet. What? Him? What? Him? What? <laughs> Sorry, I've been thinking about that for the last five minutes. <laughs> I'll be right back. I go potty. Had to get it out. <laughs> yep. Can you show feet on first date? No. He kept his feet um, entirely encased in metal cans. I didn't ask about it. I just let it let it go. That was for the best. This is weird. I'll fix it. Shut up. Be chesty. I follow this channel since 2011. You've almost been to Stir's house? What? I'll uh, ask Stir that when he gets back, Demo. So nobody else ask a question for Stir or else I'll forget that question. It's gonna be really awkward. I go IPRP. Okay. How much did Stir enjoy playing Guy? Guy was his favorite character. Play, so a lot. Ashley, what big projects are you working on? Um, w one of them right in front of you, Myriad, probably the biggest one. At work? At Powerhouse where I work. We can't really say. But I mean, they're really cool, trust me. Um, I put out some art on Twitter recently from the Spell Break trailer, animated trailer that we made. Which was fun, got it? Because I got to paint like a really big city shot. Which is my favorite thing to paint for backgrounds. Is this a weird moment to jump in with no context? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, the, the feet! Yeah, I guess. Feet? The feet. I'm back for more feet. Alright, I'll leave him then. Just about to storm off. Calling here. That means a big payday. Gruff was so fun to watch. <laughs> I know, I started watching, um... Galen's gate again, and everything he says still cracks me up, even though I, I like, know what he's going to say. <laughs> he's going to accuse you of being a fish. <laughs> Segway, 10 bucks. Buckets on feet. <laughs> 10 bucks? Yeah. Let's go. Gotta do it for the tenor.
That is the worst bucket I've ever drawn. Hold on. Yeah, I think I took for granted how fun Gruff was and how much people liked him. Because for me, he got very boring because my party didn't want me to do anything. And also, I played a damage dealing class in a you only clash bosses meta. So, it's pretty and useless. There were only bosses. Mm hmm. And nothing else. For episodes and episodes and episodes and episodes. There you go. Your $10 drop. And now it's gone. Halen's Gate, still one of my favorite groups. They were pretty cool. I always wish they had more to work with, especially in the later seasons. Well, you get shit on when you get nothing special. I explained the meta to him of <laughs> have expertise in the skill so you can always roll your highest roll to have a clash so Bard is the best class because you also you get that and spells and melee. Guy was the OP. The min-max. Even though he tried to charm stuff. Charm, I just like charm spells. And uh, then... The next tier of power is waiting to be offered something uh, that you can't get through character creation, like all the shit Mo had. And as the longest running group, Gruff had nothing. He had a giant cat. <laughs> Which you, like, abandoned at one point. <laughs> yeah, because it was annoying. Like all the familiars. <laughs> He had a tentacle for an army. <laughs> yeah, he did. He could float two feet? No, I couldn't. I never got the racial stats for that. I mean, I guess I kind of could, but I didn't I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know the rules. I was immune to fire. <laughs> yep, that was huge. I need to find that moment. That was amazing. So I have a feeling that that channel might disappear. <laughs> you know. So with chat, if any of you off the top of your head have a timestamp on hand. I know when it was. I know like... Kind of, it was during the fight outside of the Samurai City. Um, like, if I looked for it, I could find it, but I don't know the episode number. Well, you're busy. Am I, though? Well, maybe they're not busy. What do these goddamn books do? They're... They allow the occult class to do something in battle when they run out of sanity, is what they do. Yeah, I guess. I think I'm yeah. just making them basically longbows, but with psychic damage. Exactly. They're fine. You don't have to. And I, I guess I have to make um, random skills that they can get from loot. Just Melting's like his favorite rebels. character was Aaron. Huh. But Aaron didn't have a Mickey Mouse voice. Sorry, I interrupted you, Steve. No, I'm listening. Um... Books should ignore blocking terrain and attack directly. I don't think terrain gets in the way, does it? It does. Oh, it does? If you don't have vision of what you're shooting towards, you can't hit it. We figured that out? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Cool. Well, I guess... 
I mean, I could I could make it ignore that, but that's a really dangerous route of like shooting through walls. But if you could like still code it, you could find an item that would let you shoot through walls. That'd be sick. Yeah. Somebody grab a sticky nut. I mean, I could make that like a single bow ability, like activate this free action. Your next shot goes through walls. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Do that. Write in the note. Thanks, chat. Okay, potion dwarf got out of the Final Fantasy dungeon. Slowly pro programming a modular tabletop engine in Unreal Engine 4 with my spare time. Get processing big for a while, but in theory of how I'm doing it, you should be able to work mirrored into it. Oh, interesting. Let's see how it goes, though. Right now, I've got pawns running around in 3D on a grid with the ability to alter and change their stat. That sounds really cool looking. Yeah, you'll have to show it off sometime. Yeah. There is someone right now making 3D um, fan art of Liana, which is sick. We'll put her in the game. Actually, how many packets of sticky notes has Stir bought? No, he just bought a giant one. Has been going through them. Does anyone have the timestamp for I can splish my own splash? I don't remember that one. Some gruff said. Yeah, I can't remember why he said it. The t shirts are still up. Limited edition forever. How much of my wardrobe is like their shirts? It's a lot. One, two, three, four, based oh, on that. Just, just, just hit them. I can't, just, I can't. I'm just immune go. to fire. Oh, yeah, I guess Chad was joking about having the same like shirt over and over again. All right. Remember that, that item we found? And that's me, and they've held sure. up. They're like years no. old now, but they're still like perfect. <laughs> that's, you know what? That thing with Guy is the perfect example of playing suboptimally is more fun. Where everyone okay. wants to like play uh, perfectly and not make mistakes, and I'm telling a card that I'm immune to fire. I'm pretty sure I, I got knocked down, like, death saving throw in that fight. Don't worry, you would have never died. True. Only uh, bad DMs kill players. No, it wasn't Fireball, it was uh, a card doing the cleric, like, flame strike thing. And, and I was 100% surrounded by enemies. <laughs> and I'm telling them, I'm immune to fire, go for it. <laughs> you just acted that so perfectly. <laughs> like you convinced him in real life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it twice. I did it that time and he was like, oh, really? And he did it. And then when he shot me, I acted out like, oh, God. <laughs> and there was another time I told, uh, 
I think it was Grapple. I was like, oh yeah, in a different game. I'm immune to Grapple. That might have been on a different character. I right, can't remember Steve, what that I'm gonna was. ask you a controversial question. What? Remember Bethany? Yes. If people start doing the Bethany shit where they draw the sexy thing over and over, can we just, like, not acknowledge that? Huh. Huh, yeah. That, that's a head-scratcher. I hated it. Chat, how do you think? How did that happen? Or did that happen? Yeah. Um, the full story, if there's no context, um, a car did a spell to raise like a servant from the dead. And I don't think the token art for her was it was it was just like that. a black blob of death essence. But Bethany was great because of how much it pissed people off. Well, and then a whole bunch of um, artists would make like lewd fan art of it. Well, not lewd, but sexy. Funny in moderation. Yeah, see, like, when do you put a cap on it? Like, the first one was funny, but like the what? 80th, 90th one? But at the same time, you don't want to disrespect the person because they're having fun and... I mean, contributing. I, I wouldn't really be able to control that. But I mean, you're going to show the fan art after stream, right? They're not talking about like going to their houses. <laughs> I know, but to a degree... Oh to a degree, you don't have too much control on that. Yeah. And I think there was a lot of like, no, God, why are you guys doing this? In the same way that you would kind of say, oh, I don't want these subs, <laughs> wink. And then more people sub. Like, just baiting more of it to happen. Uh, but I don't, it's weird. Moon said weeb is a protected class, so it's going to happen again. <laughs> Protected? <laughs> Legally? Spending too long in this one hair. The drunk weeb ramp? No, but people keep bringing it up. It's starting to sound like what I talk about about furries. Oh, Moon had a drunk Weeber. I'll have to listen to that. I didn't hear it. I knew someone was going to say, did you hate furries at one point? No, I think you need to be a furry and establish that you're a furry now so that you can get tax credits for it later when it's a discriminated, discriminated against minority. Bro. And someone was saying that I Moon said that Weebs were a protected class. It's kind of the same. Okay, yeah, but what did this book do? What's that dog doing? What's the dog doing? Why is his shirt? Mmm. Yeah, save your work. Well, Brad, that's very easy when everything you ever say in your entire life is a complete lie. <laughs> you can make people think anything. Anime tropes? <sighs> I don't know, if you compared anything he ever made to anything... It's like, oh, come on, guys! 
Also, yeah, have you seen that. the Depthar? They're basically my version of the T-Virus. I don't know where the line is. Hey, thanks, Kepler. What what does hair do? Hair? Can I go and look at pictures of hair? Is that gonna mess up the camera? Uh you try. On your other monitor. It might make the screen flicker. But we'll see. Okay, I'm looking up. Oh, it's all hair from the back. No. government needs hundreds of years to catch on to minorities um i don't know we're pretty woke nowadays well you and me no society is going that way so i'm just saying you got you got you got to be a furry now because you're gonna get discredited later if you try and pretend to be one when they get benefits it's like why not be a furry now it's all positives it's just financial responsibility And if nothing ever happens, oh well, you were <laughs> you were a cat boy or whatever. I'm looking at all of these hairs and I cannot find one that I like. Ah Regardless what yeah, exactly. Just in case it becomes relevant. <laughs> I'm just pretending to be a cat boy for the tax benefits. Haha. <laughs> hee Hey, they're coming around. I might have found one. <laughs> I heard of the Wonder Bird guy. I feel like I have. But I do not remember. Yeah, some guy that paid a lot of people money to make really specific artwork of girls buying Wonder Bread. Typically affluent white women. Yeah, that could be my career. I think it's time to make a pivot. Boy tars are still my favorite. Don't know what a boy tar is? Google it right now. I refuse. Smart. See, that guy can read tones of voice. Wait, Google what? Boy tar, yeah, like Potion Dweller wrote. You don't want that in your history? Well, just become an artist and then all of your search history forever? I was just looking up reference. 
A chat, it's basically a sexy centaur. Yeah, but human limbs instead of horse limbs. Yeah, I forgot that part. Oh, you did? Yeah. No. It's, it's important. If you have a heart, you'll let me design a Boitar enemy for Marion. <laughs> I don't know if I can show this one on stream. Stay bad. Be careful. Our two images are not good. Oh, that and the face swaps. The best shit post. I didn't expect the extra arms. Yeah, it's it's cropped really awfully. I there were some funny old ones. I. There was like a whole weird ass boy tour website. Yeah, the website. But I'm not seeing any of that. I was so scared of viruses when I was on site. But you had to be for the boy tours. Yes. Was, a worthy sacrifice. Face swamps are nice, especially when they're with babies. Yeah. You mentioned face swaps, and now I want to see these two characters face swapped. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Do they have two ding dong? No. Okay. Mm. It's not a face swap, but somebody made this on Twitter. This <laughs> 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 is real love. I mean that that tracks as a uh, sub sound photo shark. A living sub sound. Hello. 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 No. Hello. It is weird that I say no, but that is how I greet people. No. Wasn't that around like the first time you got that Go XLR? You were just playing with it? Uh, shortly after, I think. Good times. <sighs> but what is what is the uh, do I uh, do I have to make a new targeting thing for this? I quit. Myriad sucks. No, no quitting. Where is even this code? Sucks. I am the number one Myriad player in the world. You hold all the world records. I do. I can't be stopped. Yeah. 
Hmm. You go pro in the myriad. I think I could. He has the most playtime. Sad. Um, we're look uh, weapon, weapon, weapon. Oh no, I forgot to ask the question. What if that guy's gone now? No, I promised him. What question? Hey, Stir, what weapons will there be in Myriad? Oh, that guy's gone now. I can't answer that. I gotta wait till he comes back. Oh, no, I told him. I gave him my word. He said fart a minute ago. He might be here. Oh, oh. Quick, before he farts again. Yeah, where's the Widow's Peak? Have you done one? Well, I mean, I kind of have one in real life, so... Kind of triggers me. Honestly, I think you've already done more variation than Bethesda games have. Mm, true. Played my own game yet? I, I ran a game in it. I mean, it's vaguely kind of the same. Blob check? Yeah, I can't answer it. No chatter left behind. If I answer it and he's left behind, then I failed my job as a streamer. So it's better to just not answer questions because... Then everyone's on the same page. Just tell us what the weapons are. Just tell us. He's not gonna do it. <laughs> Ashley, you're going to play the next Mirrored game, yes. Not the well, next not one. Not the next one, but um, one of the two that are coming up. Unless I get a wife with more viewers. Yeah. Can I tell them about the time I tried to quit Mirrored? Or is that a, a too cute of a story? Tell him. That's your truth. All right, uh, we're um early stages before the Myriad game. We're still figuring out who all was playing, and um <laughs> there was a lot of like angst, like will it succeed? I don't know. Oh my god, thinking about it, and I'm like Steve, if you need to give my player slot to somebody else. In order for the game to succeed. I'll be okay. And he was like, no, honey. This is only going forward with you. And then I slapped her. No! Unless you mean with your body in a hug. And then you disappeared. What? Because I'm too tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then he powerbombed me. Yeah, the then, I, then I brought her to the bouncy castle and power bombed her. <laughs> Thanks, Potentris. Thank you. Oh, did Potentris sub? He did. <gasps> Thank you, Potentris. How the hell? I know that guy. Does the bow attack pattern work? You, you already... What? I thought you knew. No, the great thing about programming is once you finish something, you don't need to know it anymore. Oh, that makes sense, because it's like uh, same. I'm going to make books diagonal lines instead of cross lines so that they're different in that way. But then I basically have to remake the bow targeting... But how did that work? It's such a mess. It's so confusing. On your character to be the most interesting? Jeez. Oh, well, I think I know. I mean, thank you. Sorry. Take a compliment. Wait, I didn't even get what you said. Nothing. I wasn't talking to you. 
Somebody complimented me and I was like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were the most interesting. But role playing makes her poop. It does. So I was really nervous. I took so many painful shits during my solo tier. Really? You, you do the same thing? Oh, it's not nervous poops. I've just got bad poops. And oh. they just happen to happen in solo <laughs> tier. You know what? I'll take that as solidarity. <laughs> Or poop bros. Shit siblings. Haka comrades. <laughs> comrades. <laughs> Sorry. All right, enough poop. No, never enough. This is time limit enough. Every time. Uh oh, stinky. I get so much secondhand social anxiety, I have a hard time even watching people roleplay sometimes. It's hard for me too when you can tell they're like, what? Especially in that one moment where um, the ancient Seven came back on the stream and he clearly had not been filled in on what was going on at all and he was just like, uh, uh, uh. uh. I'm so powerful. Who is yeah, the first person to refer to money as one? Is Steve. It was Ryan. Mm -hmm. I loved Ozzy. He was always a highlight of the tier campaign. Yeah. Nah, Gruff was better. Well, I liked his transition because at the beginning he just wanted like treasure and gems and stuff. Then just wanted to be with his friends and have a threesome with God. Hmm. Well, he was trying to, yeah, he was trying to bone in the second half. Well, I mean, it's a lot of episodes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So eventually you run out of stuff to. Why, yes, this item costs one. Uh, Ozzy and Guy did have sex, yes. It was a threesome with, um... Mirage. character's name, Mirage. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to say the character's name because it gets weird. <clears throat> I mean, the, the player's name, sorry. I like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, as 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 two question. games, actually. Why you gotta make ERPing with friends as a vampire weird? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Arcy. <laughs> Bella Nova's sister, no. <laughs> you mean... You mean the the girl he picked up? Oh, Walmart Ost, Great Value Ost. Genocidal space vampire. <laughs> yeah, he earned a few titles along the way. Still can't get over. I'm life stranding. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> what it literally was, too. Because it counted as a life crafting ingredient. Good times. In your mind, what happened with Bellanovan's sister? Nothing, because we went to the edge of space to stop the violet again. Instead of doing that thing you wanted to do, yeah. Well, 
player would need an array assigned to it and you'd call a van value from it with a random. I don't know if that's worth it. I think it's just more work than just shuffling them in the program. Saving them up. Oh, of course. The ha la la la. Like. La 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 la. There's more than just one person there. Would have been able to leave everyone dead in the gun store? I don't know. Because there was another situation where we were on the ship and they were locked in that room. And they were dying to some random disease that was on, like, the... The thing. If anyone remembers what I'm talking about when we were on our starship and... It was like Baru and Moon were dying. And I was thinking to myself, like, I would let them die. <laughs> I should let them die. <laughs> I'm not going to open this door, but I don't think Arcadum will ever kill a player. And with that meta knowledge in mind, they're not going to die, and they're just going to be mad at me when they come out. Well, Arcadum would be furious with you. He would rip your head off no i don't think would. he would i think he would just find a way for them to be fine like i decide to not open the door and then the threat stops and then the door opens on its own and it was cleansed and they're fine True. what you needed plus 15. yes so i was like my choice here doesn't matter so i'm gonna choose the one that makes me not look like the bad guy to my party members nice Nice. Almost the same and opposite in that my characters would probably never die, but probably because I'd just never put them in a position to tell them they were going to die. Hmm. Such a pussy foot. You don't know what would salvage being shot up by guns and left for dead? Anything. There's magic. Actually anything. <laughs> you know what? I'm a little pissed too, because in the Viking game that we played, um, my character's brother died. And, like, all he wanted to do was bring him back from the dead. That was his one big character. Like, this is the reason I'm still alive. And they went... We went to the Viking version of the Underworld. We got his soul back. It was a big thing. And then the campaign was over. Well, we got his soul back and we used all of the party's wealth of, like, 40,000 gold to put it into a golem. Yep. And then whenever we talked to Arcanum about that character in the future, he would refer to him as being dead. The golem character. Yeah. Yep. Who are in, like, the entire second half of the campaign was based around resurrecting him. I was like, oh, um, okay. Yeah, we didn't even get to roleplay them, like, uniting together after all of that. Is that the same one where Moon's character died? Yeah. We returned from Stovokor. I'm, I'm tired of the man. Let's move to the other one. Woman. We're done. <laughs> Ooh, make him kiss. Ah, <laughs> gross. Mm, mm, mm. Disgusting. When you were an admin there? Man! I got, <laughs> I got a, a slight glimpse into that when... we all met up to do the, the prismatic trials, me, Shorefor, and... 
stripping for the oh, yeah. <laughs> the people who used the the song blades. And he told us we were gonna have like our own special thing to do. And it's gonna be a one shot. And then we showed up, and then had to decide other people to do a thing. And we were like, wait, why are we choosing a party for? F what is our trial? Our party is to choose living world people. And it didn't make any sense. And he was like, oh yeah, people will message you. And then admins messaged all three of us. And I asked the admin like a really basic question of like, I, I still don't understand. Like, what am I choosing people for? Why do I get to pick any mission? How is this a prismatic trial for, for anything? Like, I don't get it at all. And they were like, they were pretty much like me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try and get back to you on that. Like, I expected that stream to be them going through a dungeon. And they showed up and all of a sudden it was like, all right, you pick all this shit, goodbye. That was so awkward, that was so... There was not a single person involved with that that knew what was happening. And not by their own fault. To be clear on that. No, the, the living world people are serious. The players, like, they oh, yeah. try and know everything possible there is to know. If there's something they didn't know, it wasn't their fault. Yeah, that sucks. You're reliving memories, Canassus. You couldn't even do basketball for fun? What is that? Because it wouldn't work with his world? There is no basketball. Dude, basketball fixes everything. <laughs> yeah, where you solve any problem with a... If you can shoot the hoop. Basketball game. <laughs> White man can't jump, that whole movie. Shirts versus skins, baby. Glad to hear Ronnie's voice again. Aw. Sim. Yeah, That's Sim. Harry Viking Gamer. He's <laughs> hitting on you. Or she. Listen, I only put out on the second date, so. Yeah, you're going to have to survive the first one. And it's not easy. <laughs> you're going to learn a lot about Dragon Ball, let me tell you. <laughs> there is no basketball, but there are panini presses? That's a very specific thing to say. I mean, it's... One one shot a week was so much work. So many people got burned out so quick. One one shot a week? With no module, I'm assuming? There's very little freedom for DMs to do anything. Oh shit, that Violent Servant one, uh, Darth Blob, that would be my number one example. Where they were running to escape dying, and it was... make Basically, make a saving throw. You failed. One more chance. Make a saving throw. Oh, one more chance. Make a saving throw. Oh, one more chance. Make a saving throw. You're out! Everyone's good. Okay. That's what you needed. You think you can quantify, Steve, how many times Arcanum ranted to us about people not believing that he would kill characters many 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 it times like, it was like six seven eight all the same exact conversation every uh, single time dude he killed summer it's cool. probably like 25 times to me okay i was only there for eight or nine of them like what the constant like why do people like constantly need to believe like someone needs to die for it to be real and well because if no one dies it's not Especially when you say you're so adamant and defensive about how it won't, how it is. <laughs> and how many times I told him, dude, you really shouldn't rant at chat about these things. Like, that's not really, you sh that's a bad look. And he'd be like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're so right. Well, I won't do it anymore. What was the worst? Because if we ever talked about anything, by the end of the advice, he would agree with you every time. And you'd yes, have this this glimmer of hope of like, stop. yeah, like, man, maybe he'll, you know, take that to heart and not have this conversation with me again in two weeks. So 
So I'm thinking of killing off Ronnie from my comics. Yeah, didn't he kill off the Living World people, though? It's not the oh, yeah, they, they dropped, like, fry, flies because they weren't important. And I mean that in a sarcastic way. Not yeah, that they weren't, like... actually. I think you could look back and anything Arcadum was defensive about was true. Yes, at 100%. There was a uh, Huck really early in Shattered Crowns got uh, the one D ten Thunder Staff like big pipe uh, big what it was I can't even remember Iron Pipe and there was a lot of people that no not Iron Pipe that's the other character I can't remember what he called his weapon Loud Iron yeah oh and there was a lot of people in chat that I saw bring up like how overpowered it felt and like how strong it was and I was like that's what a fighter is that fighters do fighting but like. Bro. <laughs> as as someone oh, I always felt like I was experienced enough in D&D that I wouldn't get items because I, as some sort of like balancing act of like I'll give it to the new player so they'll enjoy it more and they'll they'll take this and they'll do better just by a statistical benefit. Guy was fucking utterly completely useless for like two seasons, didn't charm a single thing, had a 1d8 weapon. And it was like, yeah, well, the Huck's balanced because he does three times the damage of everyone in the group. Then you did 4,000 damage to that one boss. Yeah, because Clash. Which you can't fail. Pro tip. You can't fail Clashes. Not that the pro tip matters anymore, but if your characters can't oh, die no. and the consequence of failing a Clash is dying, just Clash. Dude, I'm gonna clash my depression. Uh, the butt. I mean, that's normal. That that should be how it works. It was really just that for all of season one and like most of season two, he was the only character with a a magic weapon. And one d10 is more damage than I could do, and he could attack like three or four times in a turn. So it wasn't it wasn't even just the strongest weapon that we had, it was also multiplicative because of how many times the fighter could use it. Which again, I only brought up because I hate how petty some of this shit sounds. It was just an example of anything that he got extremely defensive about was definitely true. People keep using the word petty, but... When you combine all of well, the pettiness together, yeah, and you figure out like the network of lies behind it all, that's what the I'm the really intention that it actually had intention. Yeah, projection much? Yep. Remember when the only reason Ozzy was blinded was because he went to do a living world boss and Arcade would let those guys die in a single turn. Do you know about that, Ronnie? Oh, I remember is uh we failed the trial, so we got a god to just do it for us, and my character was permanently blinded, except it wasn't permanently the you end. I was sorry, finish. No, that's it. That was literally uh, the end. I was going to say the frustrating <laughs> part of why it feels like you're venting about these petty things that you wouldn't have brought up in the moment is that the moon moon plus 15 thing is a really great example of I don't I don't really want to explain the whole thing, but Arcadum basically made up a role so that he couldn't win a fight. And so moon, moon yeah, so that moon could not win the fight just like out of nowhere. And then moon was really annoyed his whole stream talking about it with his chat while he was muted. And his chat was like nearly a hundred percent against him. When when now like now it's okay to agree that all the shit was kind of bullshit. Yeah. And it similarly, so at the same time, everyone has dealt with these kind of like gaslight situations where I'm running Myriad. 
I explained his skill to him like 10 times and he throws a fucking tantrum during a game to make it look like I'm an idiot and code my system totally wrong. Because that, the whole chat after that was like, oh shit, stirs things broken again. It's like, no, he fucking wants me to look bad. And I called him out like the next day, like gaslighting me in front of a whole bunch of people. And he's like, no. Well, if you thought what, that was my intention, I am truly sorry. Oh, actually, I have a complaint. I've been trying not to say anything about this kind of stuff. But he's that one session I ran for you guys, I've been upset for, about that for a long time because I spent like, and this is the DM curse, right? You spend hours and hours on something and then, you know, your team skips it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he started yep. speed running all of my character exposition. Uh, and this is like, just to get the reward at the end. I'm like, dude, this is Dungeons and Dragons, not- He did that in my running. game too. <sighs> But true. Mm hmm. It's just a thing. But, no. hey, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm just saying, like, you can only vent about it now because before no one would even. No one it, would believe you. Yeah. Or you would seem like you were just whiny. Oh, wow. A person gets to play DD for free in front of thousands of people and they have this little tiny complaint. Ha ha. I'm good. I'm alright. <laughs> no one did believe me except Narf. Oh, that's a real friend then. True, man. <laughs> like, uh, like when Alexander got the Nevernight class and I had to be like, yeah, but is it actually going to be finished? Mm -hmm. Of course. And my favorite quote ever is Sean, who was a weaver for like a month and a half, and the class was not finished, and we did boss fights while he had an unfinished class, and Sean was just like, I hope Felicia Day picks a weaver so I can have a finished class to play. <laughs> wow. The, the ultimate Sean burn. Mm -hmm. That's good. And no hate on Felicia Day chat, by the way. Oh. She didn't do anything. I mean, unless Stir wants to like start throwing beef at that. Yeah, uh, fuck the you. Internet's favorite redhead. Well, I didn't watch any of her games, so I don't know anything. I saw like session one, part of session two. She was really funny in it. Oh. Well, it makes sense. She had like a super neurotic Nola character. <gasps> You'd probably like it. I watched her way back when on the guild and even her guest star on the monk monk and dr horrible sing along her twitter thing what i i like really that, don't know i did not say her. that word <clears throat> no she she was she had a internet series back when this wasn't even a thing called the guild oh yeah no i've seen that was, yeah and uh she did dr horrible sing along with neil patrick harris and Nathan Drake? I don't remember his fucking name. And, uh... The guy from... <laughs> What's the game called? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Uncharted guy. Nathan yeah. Fillion. That's who it was based on. I, I don't know any of this. Fillion. Yeah. And, uh... Because doesn't he do the voice now? Like, he didn't do it before, but now he does it. But, yeah, and also she was on Monk, which is... Used to be one of my favorite shows. I always preferred Felicia Knight. <laughs> Felicia Afternoon. Uh oh, somebody's DMing me. Did I say the wrong thing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, somebody's what? DMing me. Nothing secret. Secret DMs. What are you talking about? Nothing. Yeah, Deuce. He, um, 
very much prided himself that on the idea that he never fudged rolls, but the rolls that he initiated were always... He rolled them, but he knew the odds of what they would actually do. And if it didn't go right, then you get another additional roll. Well, his old-time friends were telling stories about back in the day and all of them playing Magic the Gathering and how they would all see him put cards on the top of his Magic deck and then he would sit there straight-faced and try to play with them and they'd be like, dude, we saw you put the cards on top of your deck and then he would just scream. <laughs> what? Oh, man, yeah, that's... That's next level, dude! Wish... A little... I can just picture a little 13-year-old like, No, I didn't cheat! You guys don't trust me! I knew a guy like that. I wanted to exile him from our friend group so badly, yeah. No, the stream was really funny. It was. It was great. Highly recommend. You want to hear? Here are the early times. And all those poor people thought he had come back and like reformed himself and changed later on. That was me. I thought it was magic, so... <laughs> Can I tell the true fireball story, or are we lingering on this for too long? I don't know, it feels weird, mostly because your viewer count goes up when you start shitting on someone. And I don't... it's been an awkward balance of I feel like I need to vent sometimes, and then also it feels like I'm profiting from venting. Right, it's your channel, so up to you. It's because I love drama. I know everyone loves the drama! Event now! How do people even know? I've seen the, the Cyric event channel Discord, like, whenever someone starts a stream and starts talking about it, they start spamming links and be like... Yes! Yes! More things to be angry about! But he was our fuck. He was our friend, dude! He was in our house! He sucked my toes! Oh, yeah, that didn't happen. We try not to. I mean, it, it's it it's going to happen no matter where it happens. It's not your guys' problem to deal with. Yeah. Dude, I pissed in Stir's toilet and forgot to flush. And I got <laughs> called out on it. I, the, do, I don't remember that. I was so overwhelmed with your bathroom. I don't know what it was. It was like... There was so much shit on the counter, and there was, like, the, the uh, mouse's little piss pad, and I was just, like, overwhelmed that I forgot kids. to push a goddamn handle. Also, uh, it was I, our fault. Yeah, it's your fault for having an overwhelming bathroom. My bad. <laughs> I, Thanks, uh, Domonator. All right, can I tell the story one time and then I'll never tell it again? The the fireball thing? Yeah. Or you can. I don't... I was thinking about this again yesterday, because wasn't Moon defending that once that he counted out the planets? I don't remember exactly. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what he said about Baru. Oh. I... I don't know. It's all weird. 
Well, you know what? You don't control me, so I'm going to tell it one time. I'll <laughs> okay. never tell you. This is it. All right. G get your clips ready. Don't clips. No clips. Don't clip this. Disable clips. Everyone plug your ears and look away from the screen. So, um, fireball incident. Funniest shit that ever happened in D&D. &D. Really big memes came out of it. Uh, oh. Lots of attention. Or, um... There's a video on Stur's channel about it. There, somebody made a cartoon intro for Shattered Crowns based on it. It was like the thing that they were known for, you know? This legendary D, D moment. It started when Baru's character was in a tent with all the other party members, and Scrumpo, Moon's character, decided to steal a scroll because his character is a little shithead thief, you know? But, um, Big Pipe, Baru's character, saw him do it and tried to punish him or stop him from stealing it because they were in the tent with, like, a really important political, like, figure, you know? So he thought he could stop him by throwing a fireball at him. But Baru, this was the first time he'd ever played D&D &D in his life. He, I don't think, was that the first time he cast a fireball? I think first it was. First time he cast a third level spell ever, because yes. we had just leveled. So he had no idea how big fireball's radius was. So he was like, all right, I, I shoot, I shoot Scrump a, a fireball. I do it. And Arcane was like, okay. And then he puts, like, the indicator of the fireball size over everyone, and Baru was like, Oh no. Oh no. And Arcade was, like, hyping this up, and everyone in the chat is like, Oh my god! Oh my god, what did you do? Oh my god, what did you do? Oh, Baru, you're so stupid! Oh, Baru, you kill killed your whole, whole party! And then Arcade was like, Yep, this tent is full of, uh, magical scrolls. They're all going to go off, uh, all at the same time. Up, oh, I got a roll from, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, really bad, really bad. And Baru was just mortified. He was typing in the Discord behind the scenes, like, I'm sorry, I'll take it back. Like, you could undo that. Like, he didn't want to ruin the game for everyone. He was just a nice guy, like, oh my god, I didn't want to do that. Big interruption of the game. But Arcadum goes ahead with it anyway. Um, everyone gets fireballed. Um, the spells and the scrolls go off. And, um... The scroll just happens to teleport the entire party somewhere else, and none of them were hurt in any way. But, despite the lack of damage to the party, like, the storyline had changed, like, drastically, because they were now in a different place. And whatever quest they had started on um, wouldn't be finishable. So, in the entire history of Arcadum's games, this was like the biggest upset to Arcadum's storyline that he had planned, you know? The only time he didn't fudge it to make sure that his plans went off. So after that incident, Arcadum came to stir in me and was like, You guys see that Byru made a fireball emote for his chat? Yeah, you see that? We're like, yeah. It's like, yeah, Baru steals all of his emotes. Oh, yeah, because he was always mad that Baru had to suffer or something as well. Arcade mate had me do all of the same fucking emotes that Baru had. Like, I was there having made those emotes, and I was like, dealing emotes? Seriously? Yeah, um. But yeah, I was going to say, too, I'm pretty sure Suffer was Moon's. But we have a I bird can't. suffer now. Anyway, anyway, that's the smaller part of the story. Byron's stealing emotes. Yeah, he's he's really getting a lot of attention for this. And uh, oh god, Stir, I think he's really gonna he's gonna do something in my game. He's gonna get he's gonna get more attention because that's what he does, man. He's gonna get as much out of this as he can because you know what, Baru is a type 2 manipulator. I know you don't know Ooh. that, but, but I know that because I know the type. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, we, and we always thought that him. too. We always joked about that. We joked about that hardcore, like like ever calling each other eh, kind of a type 2 manipulator right now. <laughs> he was super worried that Baru was going to 
use more, the more. violet vial to infect Querg and ruin everything further. Just honestly and sadly partly why I confronted uh, his character on the three strike rule. Which was still in character because he had almost killed us like several times. But um... Yeah, Arcadum had this whole thing figured out. He's like, alright, he's gonna use this item, he's gonna... He's gonna ruin the whole game, he's gonna get a lot of attention for himself, and then he would just let it hang, you know? He would just say that and then stop, because he's waiting for Stir to fill in the rest of it, like... Well, I don't think Guy would want to die, you know? Like, Guy is kind of sick of his shit already, like, um... If he tried to kill Guy, Guy would try to stop him, you know? Like, that's what Arcadum wanted for him to say, you know? So he was trying to get Stir to stop Baru in the game from getting more attention and ruining his storyline. Isn't that... F <laughs> yeah, um, and after that, uh, ending to the story, two more seasons happened. Baru never did anything. Yeah, he had the cave fungus too. And, and and every time when I was watching that game and Arcadum like gave them this giant, really powerful item, I'm like, why? So he could prove it. See? Yeah, see, uh, I'm not scared that they'll ruin my game. Monkey's Paul is way earlier, and also is an item designed to do nothing. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm it's hard to draw. Oh. Okay. Yo, that shard of oblivion shit. End the episode and the shard attacks. What? Come back next episode? Yeah, no, it doesn't attack. It, it just gets up. Okay. You guys all thought that was like cool, right? How I did that? You guys thought that was cool, right? Like that cliffhanger I left you on? Yeah, yeah, Arcadum. It was cool. See, all I'm thinking is Baru over here being this type 2 manipulator. All I got is type 2 diabetes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know Baru very bad, well. Um, he had me as a like a guest judge in his art contest. Um, and I've like drawn pictures for him and no weird behavior. None. Absolutely none. So in case you in case you stroked out and thought any of that might be true. I sure he didn't manipulate me into being a judge by uh, paying me a whole bunch of money and being really nice to me, I guess. I guess it worked. I got him. Damn it. I got manipulated into being a stir viewer? Well, yeah. It's the only way I can have any. Mm -hmm. You all want to be here. You all think the it. Myriad is fucking awesome, right? Dot, dot, dot. Y yes? Yep. Yeah, you better <laughs> say yes. I'll cry if you don't. Mm-hmm. And then that's on I'm you. Really... Mm -hmm. You will you become one guy. In front of me. I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Crying right the now. Master works all. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. Snake like, thank you. Cry for it. <laughs> Definitely didn't get type two'd. Yeah, I'm more of a type three. Whatever. I'm like a whatever type that Z. Is. No, I never type three is it. just type type three is just murder threats. Oh, I don't I don't actually know. Myriad is weird in the good way. How good? <laughs> Tell us how good it is. Rar. Rar.
I guess I'll Google it and type two. That's type two, you have yet to see my whole power. Nothing has come up. <laughs> <laughs> type poo. I'm a type poo man. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, you're making me very happy right now, but I'm holding myself back. I mean, I search types of manipulation. It gives one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight examples. I could check all these boxes. Which one's type two? <laughs> I don't know. All of those times two. Well, oh, you're like... I don't know. Like the Japanese word for you is tsundere, so I don't, I don't know what number that is. What? Tsundere. How is that a no. type of manipulation? Or are you just saying, <laughs> Ronnie, you're a weeb? Wow, did you, did you just not figure that out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've noticed. Listen, I'm a type two weeb. Let me tell you. Shit. Type one is these people watching fucking Goblin Slayer and and Cowboy Bebop. I'm over here with the freaking Sakamoto Desuka. I, I could see that. I'm over here watching New Year's comedy specials from Japan. What level is the B Stars? Oh god, that's that's like that is so casual. B stars is a, definitely a top three anime for me. Have I not finished Sakamoto? I have finished Sakamoto. Like I've watched it like three times. What? B stars is on Netflix. It doesn't count. What? Come on. It counts. Where you watch your anime matters. I watched my I watched B stars in a, like a dirty basement on a pirated VHS. Does that make me a wee? Yes. <laughs> okay. I figured out the formula. What I was missing. The goofy line deliveries. Yup. It's just so it just keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder. And still, it's about kids in high school. I don't know how they manage. Okay, in chat. In the mob. Chat, go to YouTube and search Ass Cannon Punishment. That's the no. kind of Japanese shit I watch. I don't think you guys should go to Google and search that. Ass Cannon Punishment? You got kids? Yeah, don't do that. Thanks, Burn Bowser. Did you say YouTube? It's on YouTube. It's not like, it's not like R-rated. A guy does shoot baby powder out of his butthole. Okay. We've That's all been action. there. Oh, I love all the head shaking at chat. No. <laughs> yeah. Chat, say, stay strong. Stay immoral. <laughs> stay golden. Yeah, I, I want to get Stir into Gaki no Tsukai. That would be great. Come on, we've already what? seen it. You haven't seen Gaki. The Ark knows about Gaki. I can't understand Chad anymore, right? I truly do have a power to derail to highest levels of anime. <laughs> Speaking a different language now. I would apologize, but that would be... F Act as if I felt bad about what I've done. I saw you play with Baru. I guess you don't have time for me. Okay, one more. <laughs> Fuck! Bait it, one more. The group right now, we're playing with Brett Ultimus in a game. Me, Shore 4, Summer, 
Uh, whoops. And I'm missing someone. Sag. Am I? Stripping. Strippin'. God, how? Um, Arcadum, after one of our games, messaged Summer and complained to her that she was playing in a game with a different DM and it made him sad. And Summer was like, what the fuck? You won't let any of us play. That's the level of, like... W w what? Yeah, the level of... What? <laughs> we would've! Oh no, he's, he's sad. You know what's coming next. <laughs> F the fucking Zap Brannigan. <laughs> Everyone should play D&D, but only with me. What's in store for that campaign now? You're in the bit, middle of a big battle. Um... I think we just yeah, finished the big the battle. Yeah, we were gonna go in yeah. the obelisk, and there's probably like a session or two left. Finale. Payment for services rendered. Check Pleasure it out. What is it? On Mondays, right? Mondays 6 CST... Yeah. I've been late every time. I feel like shit. It must be Monday 6, right? Oh my gosh. On Brett Ultimus's channel. Uh, yeah. The Nova Hellscape is what it's called. World of EO. 10 bucks. Brett. The Llama Lord. Not gonna lie, I came for some drama some days ago, but it came up sparingly, so I just ended up enjoying the stream. The PoE stream yesterday was great. Hard to follow, though. Do you, <laughs> you make more game design streams? Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of my chat probably had no idea what half of the shit was about. It was cool to watch anyway, though. That's what you, that's what I tried to get across to you. Like, you had just so many directions to go with everything. Well, I always look back to this one thing, and it's hard to remind myself sometimes that... It's just fun to listen to someone talk about the things that they're passionate about. Because I had listened to streamers talk about this one streamer was super passionate about like female pop singers and the writers behind them and it was like the stupidest conversations i'd never have with anyone but they were so into it i was like yeah, yeah. okay I, i'm enjoying hearing about this you like hearing about dragon ball from me we've already heard about it <laughs> okay <laughs> that like once a year when i go to a party if i can find someone that has like years of experience in a field and just fucking loves it. Like on Moon's trip, we were talking to someone who like does cybersecurity, and he was telling me so much really interesting shit. I had no like, that was a lot of fun. So we're the same person. Wop anime podcast when Ronnie, you could get it all out that way. Uh, it would just come down to a lot of people asking me if I've seen shit that I don't want to watch. That's what streaming is. <laughs> Have you played this game? Have you played this game? Have you played this game? What do you think of this game? Oh, I love it. You love it? I love it. For man's, yep, go on. I came home and changed all my passwords. Talking with... <laughs> Oh yeah, he sold See? us pretty hard on, uh... <laughs> I, I can't even remember! I'm such a bad cyber -o. The password Some generator and keeper thing that you do on, like, a USB key. Yeah. Oh, and he told us about the fucking... the... pipeline hack that went on. Like, an oil company was hacked and, um, had to shut down for a while because there was, like, a ransom request. So apparently... They paid the ransom 
and got hackermans to follow where the money went, even though you're not supposed to be able to track Bitcoin, I thought. It's what they tell me. And then they caught those people. That's, that's crazy. Nah, you can track it. What's the point? Where is my ghost, um, untrackable criminal money? Yeah, if, if someone has your, like, Bitcoin key wallet number, then they can track, like, all your transactions or something. Huh. Blockchain is literally a ledger of where things went? Oh. <laughs> oh! I think you, I Bart. think you could compare it to, like, a social security number. Like, if you gave out your Bitcoin wallet, it would be that level of, like, someone could really do some shit with that. It's their wallet. Now. <laughs> That's what you need to do in order to get money, right? Yeah. They used an online wallet Tumblr? What? But Tumblr was involved in this? Boulder's Gate 3 Blood Pack? I still want to wait till it's finished because, uh... Uh... Larian Studios, their games are buggy as shit until they're finished. And I would want to play with Moon, who I believe also likes to play finished, complete games. Didn't he play it with people, actually? And then they were all like, yeah, that was buggy and we had to stop. Exactly. Same guy that played Baldi. <laughs> well, I guess Baldi was perfect. There's no improvement on Baldi. And I watched so many hours of Baldi. <laughs> Give me my laundered digital currency. It's a really awkward. She, she looks like my face when I was telling that story. <laughs> like exactly, I just unconsciously drew it. Ugh. I would watch you and Ashley and Moon do Divinity 2, that would be fun. I played in um, Trine with Stir and Jerma, and then I made the mistake of reading the YouTube comments and it was sad. Comments? I know, I know. I should know better. The three Triners. It was really fun, though, playing it. And we played Victor Brand, too. Victor Brand's a good game. Even though it had not very much compared to, like, Path of Exile and the other ones? Uh, it just feels really good to play because it has, like, full controller support and doesn't really need all that. It's just a fun play-through-at-once kind of experience. Yeah, I got, like, a chicken launcher. It was very amusing. Oh, uh, bye, Ronnie. Do you not say bye to people? Like... Hey, bye. Kind of hurt my feelings there, Ronnie. I'm waiting for him to come back and be like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drawing the same mouth again. What am I doing? I don't know. Being weird.
Dangy. I think I slight. I think over the last two hours, I've done two minutes worth of coding. I'm. I'm getting there. I can hang up on you if you want. Don't okay. even think about it. Thinking. Thinking real hard. Focus. Just focus. How do I yeah. how do I pronounce that? Thanks, CC. There you go. <gasps> CC. How coding usually works? No. It was really easy to do stuff. I just space out in between changing a number for like 30 minutes at a time and talk to chat. Um, I'm drawing on a Cintiq right now, which is a large screen where I basically just have a pen and draw on it. As if it was a big piece of never-ending paper. Isn't that magical? He's... he's showing interest in my body? In my body? <laughs> oh, now you have to say that name. Oh... <laughs> sir... <laughs> <laughs> This is very supply exuist. <laughs> that surely is a sub. <laughs> Good attempt. Thanks. I'm thinking about getting my significant other a, a new Cintiq. That's what Steve did for me. Thanks, honey. Mm. I did do that. Because the one I bought... Um, at the end of high school, just died like a year ago. It lasts a really long time. That, and it was crazy outdated. Oh, there, there is no significant difference between drawing on that and this. Yeah, I personally don't like screen tablets because you have to have your arm up on them all day and it just feels uncomfortable for me to have arm up. I probably wouldn't mind it as much now. I think my arm has been up in this position so you much that it's just buffering. Pet for I don't really feel it. Can I do a cameo where I'm a boss, but I'm actually just an Among Us imposter? All right, I'll start. I'll start yeah. the art. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. That's some of the funniest shit I ever read in Moon's chat, Shore Fort. And you're like. He would never play Among Us with me, Sag. <laughs> that's a mate. That's that's a feels bad. And just put it flat on the table and use as a traditional tablet? No, because then you would be craning your head over and looking down. That would hurt a lot more. Yeah, that'd be some crazy posture stuff. If you're going to have it down, then you might as well just have a regular uh, tablet and look forward at your monitor. Which also is something you probably have to get used to, but that's what I'm used to, and that's also why I don't like screen tablets. Well, mine is almost completely um, vertical. If you have an iPad and you wanted to try a screen tablet, Procreate is really good. Oh yeah, sure. That would be like entry level if you don't want. You're not sure you want to spend like two thousand dollars on a, a whole monitor situation. Procreate is like what fifteen bucks. Yep, and it's a third. It's good. Screenless is so much cheaper too. Yeah, these are expensive, but they last a long time, and I spend all day on it, so it's worth it. For I mean, Liana was pretty sus. The original Among Us. <laughs> She only ate one corpse. She ate half. She split. Jeez. 
she wanted was a paradise for imposters like her. She was never gonna get it. See, we're promised. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Cut off. I didn't say anything. Just I'm laughing at you saying Seymour promised. He did. Oh, I'm so mad. Well, fancy you gotta watch the old campaign if you can to find out. She wanted was a society. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest thing. <laughs> Thank you, Justine. <laughs> You biting the lip? I don't know. Some mouth breathing going on. Futter whacking. Thank you, welcome. This will be the dumb mouth. Any thoughts mm -hmm. we'll be playing on this place? Everyone wants to know who's going to be playing in the campaigns. I can't say until they agree, and I'm not going to ask them until it's ready. Yeah, because if you ask them like really far in advance, even if they are really excited to play, it's kind of like they have to block off time. Also, to commit to it. You don't want to suggest names that chat will then pressure and talk to them about it. Yeah, that that's right. the other thing. And then they take, they turn down a whole bunch of other people, and then maybe something happens and it doesn't happen, and then they've wasted time. Yeah, and like, okay, what if I finish Myriad and I get to the very end and I'm ready to start the game and I stop and I look at it and I go, "This is really bad." No. And then I restart again. No. What if what if while I'm working on Myriad, I look to my Twitch chat and they're like, why don't you try Foundry? And then I do the whole <laughs> thing again in Foundry. Oh. From scratch. It's what they want. They keep bringing it up. They don't want Myriad. They want Foundry Myriad. <laughs> and then I finish that and someone's like, why didn't you use map tools? Ah. We're going back to the old <laughs> version. Type 2 Myria. You shall make <laughs> a fine pet for Amy! Hey, thanks, Rankster. Cringe. DM again with my mom. Hey, mom. She's lurking. Uh, she was supposed to be a guest character, but guest characters were harder to work in than I thought they would be. Because my, my pacing was way off on what I thought it would be. Well, you're going to figure it out. True. You know what? I haven't told my mom about anything yet. Thanks, Frank. So, so I'll know what I'm, how I'm gonna tell her. She's gonna flip out. Oh, she's here! Hey, Mama B. I didn't see you. She was here. What's going on? Yeah, I tend to I tend to stress out and over prepare, so I thought that whole miss you thing would last one session. But there's the thing in every other D and I would always try to get the NPCs to come with, and they never would. But you allowed the NPC to come with, and I was like, awesome! This is great. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first time it's ever happened. An eye patch? I'll put in an eye patch. But we need some more hairs first. How much have I DM'd outside of Myriad? One game that was kind of Myriad in Pathfinder. Ooh. Second game that was an early system that didn't go for super long. It was really fun though. Um I think it, it was, was another. Like, really high strategy, discuss your turns, figure out the optimal solution every time sort of combat, which I found really fun, but would not be, would take, be very difficult to stream because... Oh yeah, there was another, there was another Pathfinder game that was a uh, different yeah. setting. So... Besides Myriad, like, three games, probably about not more than ten sessions for each of those. 
And yeah, she helped us a lot in combat too. Except for the time I tried to get the townspeople to help me fight Marcon and they wouldn't. Still mad about that. Well, they're all babies. I guess. He wasn't the big bat, though. He wasn't supposed to be. We weren't supposed to hit him in the head with a log when he wasn't <laughs> looking. Like, talk about potentially derailing a game and have it still amazing anyway. He wasn't supposed to be an he wasn't supposed to be an ally. I didn't think they would fight him. He was supposed to be an option for if they wanted to take the town that way or if they wanted to like lie to him. It, I don't try and make things have what they're supposed to be. Yeah. It's like, that's that's kind of the perfect example where they all sat down and normally Arcadum would be like, hey guys, heads up, warning. This is like a really serious social encounter and if you don't take this seriously, something bad might happen so that you don't let the bad thing happen. But I don't give a fuck. I, would, I, I'm, I loved Moon going off to that guy and fucking everything up. That was like the best part of the campaign. Dude, remember when Arcadum gave me one of those speeches about this serious social encounter? She's very scary. You'd better not say the wrong thing. And I couldn't, I could not talk. I was so nervous. I had to take a half hour break from the game and go and sit down and just <laughs> what? calm down and figure out what I was going to do. In which one? It was one where I was Vorb and we were going to talk to the queen of the... The Shadowfell lady? Shadowfell, yeah. Because, like... They were supposed to tell her something that could potentially make her angry about her ex-husband or something. If you have to tell people out of character that a social situation is serious, you fucked up somewhere. I don't know. I appreciated the warning, even though now I know that nothing bad would have happened. It's hard. It's hard to tell. But we're in a different mind about that. Sultan, thank you. That was in an offline game, too. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know what? When I succeeded, it felt really damn good, even though there wasn't was no chance I would. Crazy how that works, huh? I don't know, it's tricky. There's a fine line in that kind of situation, honestly, where if you don't play, tell a player it's serious, and then, like, the strong random NPC kills them, they'd be like, what? Yeah, because Marcon took us all in battle. One guy. And yeah, he had, like, big fancy armor on, but you can't, you can't judge the difference between fighting him and, like, a giant boss. And that boss is weaker, you know? Well... In that situation for you guys, you don't know anything about the world, so I don't want to warn you what kind of person he is. Your, your like, roleplay scenario was from the perspective of people who don't know jack shit. They just made him a large size. <laughs> Let's just make him large. Yeah, make him a giant. The giant marches into town. Taking down trees as he goes. That's how you know the enemy is strong and like... Dark Souls boss? Um, just a big Dark guy? Soul. 
It's just a guy, but he's huge. Uh, is there sign language? Sign language would not cause madness. Going to pick up drawing in Photoshop for a gift for my girl. What would you suggest using to learn how to properly manage layers and stuff in terms of shading? It's kind of a big question, but um, it's very basically the first drawing sketch layer. Then you draw like more refined line art on top of it and then erase clean it up really good. And then another layer for colors oh and then oh another God. layer for shading. We started up the writing loophole conversation. Does Braille exist and would that make people go insane? Um, <laughs> I haven't thought about whether or not it exists. If it did, it would. So I'm leaning towards it probably wouldn't exist because it'd be really hard to devise a consistent form of Braille when you both can't see or use. It just it, You'd still go crazy. I'm confident that you know the reasons why, but I don't want to know why right now, because I want to find out in, in the game if we ever do. Yeah, because books are cringe. Books are cringe. Just, just imagine how cringe something is, and that's how much madness it causes. Pictographs, like, uh, like hieroglyphics, or is that something else? Pictographs, Chad's going, going deep. They're going deep. It's the Chat. same as writing. Chat, you know how, like, if you read Reddit, like a political Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly one you disagree with, you're gonna go insane. It's kind of like that. Just be ima just imagine being trapped in Reddit. Yeah, but that's all. That's all writing and, <laughs> and pictures and. Yeah. Um. It, when we were making well, we when you were making the like reference sheet for wait, I made that. The other artists to draw like the main city we had to think a lot about well like what do street names look like would they have those like things like that and they do but they're different there's <laughs> degrees of madness based on a lot of different factors and yeah street you put a fish there genius it's it's a lot easier to think of it's easier to explain it just as writing causes madness but then you get all the loopholes and it's easier to explain permanent conveyances of information cause madness and writing is the most obvious simplistic form of that So if you invent it, uh, like a CD player, and that CD just on repeat had a whole bunch of permanent information spoken, that would cause you to go crazy. Phonograph of madness. Yeah, like Morse code would make you go crazy. It's more about the permanence and the, the. A lot of factors. I don't want to go too and into it, because like Ashley said, she wants to explore the world and not yeah. ask about it. But one of them was, like, how many people had read it before as well. And if it's a lot, the more it causes.
Thought the dragon stuff was pretty neat. Me too. Uh, auditory illusion magic that could leave behind info to a degree. Um, e I'm thinking of how much I want to explain it. Don't don't explain it anymore. I don't want to hear. More. Ignore them. But focus on <laughs> me. I'm all that matters. You're my galaxy. You're the black hole at the center. I am. Sucking in everything. Uh, this is fairly basic, so I'll just say madness and madness and magic are related. So when you're talking about court, like uh, conveying information through a trap, the reading that causes madness is a connection to the myriad, and the connection to the myriad is what allows you to use magic in the first place. So in some ways, that's slightly redundant. The Emperor of Thorns? No. I read Dune. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Star, you read this? No, I, I've pretty much read Dune. That's about it. And I've read thousands of books? Cannot make it through Dune. I've tried twice. I tried... Guys. Austin. A few months ago when the power went out. Um, we had nothing to do. For the longest time, we were sitting in a stranger's house with no electricity, huddling under blankets to keep warm with fake candles lit by batteries. The only thing I had with me to do was read Dune. And I you still didn't? I still didn't. <laughs> At one point, we were in Steve's closet under a blanket hey, with real ass hey, candles so going because we were so fucking body? cold. Under all the blankets we had, under winter coats, in the darkness. Trying to read Dune. Can't. Thanks, Gastomania. First book, okay. Second book, burn it. Third book, alright. It's kind of leading up to fourth book, great. <laughs> Fifth book, Frank Herbert's dead. His son's writing it. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I stop. <laughs> Is Dune your favorite sci-fi book? I've only read Dune. <laughs> yes. I have that, that, Wait, okay, I, I read Ender's Game. And I Oh you did. I yeah, read Ender's right. Game and uh, the other one part of that series. Bean one. Shadow of Ender. Oh Something yeah, like Shadow of Ender. I like those. The fan fiction. Now I actually read an Ender's Game like after the main series, and I found that completely bizarre different subject material than the other one, but was, I liked it. It's all uh, about alien politics. I started trying to get into um, Mistborn on audiobook, but I never actually find the time that I want to engage in listening to an audiobook. That's surprising. I, I have so much time that I could, but I don't know. I don't know why I don't. I feel like next time that I'm thinking I should watch a Netflix show or a stream, I should just do that instead. But I, I have like a really, I'm a very slow, very, very slow reader. And that translates into the audiobook that I like have to listen very carefully or I completely lose what's happening. So if I'm multitasking with an audiobook, I'm probably going to miss a lot of what's going on. I listen to a lot of stuff while I'm drawing, and it all gets through. But I don't know, drawing uses like a different part of your brain. Yeah, there's a few things I wanted to, to get into reading, and I would like to be exposed to more books. Books. The, uh, 
a series, like a trilogy of Warhammer books that are supposedly really good I wanted to read. I can't remember what those ones are called, but if you're into that, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I listen to audiobooks constantly because my parents read this stuff to me a lot when I was a kid. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, I could look which one it was. I don't understand how Audible works, but it's always like, you've got 12 free credits, make sure you use them. It's like, when are you ever supposed to buy books when I keep... I guess because I have Amazon Prime or something? I don't even know. At one point, when I was a kid, I had listened to every single, like, young adult audiobook in, in the library that was, like, my parents approved of. I think I walked out once with To Kill a Mockingbird, and they were like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> How did you get this? I'm like, why? It, I'm fine with killing, Mom. Huh, it's not on my Audible. It's not about that. I swear I got it. I thought I couldn't read any more, but then I ah. found some that just worked for me. Horus Rising is the name of it. For Warhammer 40k. I believe that's the first in a trilogy. Yeah, I didn't know what it was about. When I was, I was when I was young, my brother had like all of the Aliens and Predators books. And we even had Doom books, which apparently has a plot. I read those and some of the Aliens ones. Yeah, I must have been 12 and thought the Doom books were shallow. <laughs> so, not a not a recommendation. Doom has books? Question mark, question mark. Yeah. The deep lore of mining electricity in hell. <laughs> Are books in Myriad going to be extremely rare? Um, I mean, to different degrees of how intense that book is. Uh, people still use writing. It isn't something that is totally ignored and completely abandoned as an option for people. So there's a lot of things being written and kept track of through that. To kind of just like take the hit and acknowledge that for society to succeed, we need to be able to document some stuff. But uh, generally, citizens having a copy of a book or being found with writing is like, fuck that guy, kill him. He's crazy. Super discouraged. And well, they're usually right. Yeah, and it's handled through official channels and means of, like, the utmost regulations. I tried to read Discworld. I could not. Yeah, I, I I also don't need recommendations because, like I said, super slow reader. The audiobook for Mistborn is like 24 hours. Such a great book, though. So that that 24 hours is going to translate to I'll finish that in like two years. All right, I'll come in there and I'll read it to you faster than that. Yeah, it's read pretty slow, but I need that. <laughs> Is that all three books? Ashley said the same thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only the first one. Miss Barton is the rare kind of series that gets better as it goes along because everything piles on everything else and the characters come to these huge like revelations and they're not just wow we've done everything right the whole time it's just Mistborn the final empire 24 hours worth of audiobook it's like they throw the ring at Mount Doom and then 
there's more books after that. And they're like, wait, was that a good idea? <laughs> I remember reading the Pern books as a kid. I found those good. I don't know if they're good anymore. They're about dragons on different planets or something. Pretty poggers. Sir, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. I fucking love you, Nightbot. <laughs> Sir, can you please call him a dumbass? You got a sub for No, Pern books. P-E-R-N. Uh, I saw the expanse. It was okay. We da beltas. <laughs> Their accents are the best thing about that show. It's it's like a lot of big ups and downs of what's actually interesting. I kind of hated season one. And yet, yeah, still kept going. Barely? I, like, tried it again years later when, like, it had already been at season three, I think. And then, I did not like main character guy. The weird detective. Whatever. Fedora man. Documentary about the thrower? Um... No idea. Is that the worst yeah. star character? Because that's all he is. It was some Netflix thing about extreme, like, sports. And it was one ep like, each episode was about a different one. Oh, the origins of the, the thrower. Yeah. And I believe one was about the, like, strongman competitions they do in Scotland or something. Yeah, Scottish people run around and they carry gigantic logs and hammers. And they compete with each other to see which Scotsman can throw them the furthest. We... That would make a great sub sound if I could go back and find it. Love that, man. It would be hard to find, right? I could probably find it if I look. Yeah, and it's 20% better because it's all narrated by these extremely Scottish Scotsmen. That are so into it. I was born to be a thrower. Better since I was a wee lad. I can't do it. Don't laugh at me. That was good. It's all that right. Was good. That was good. But, right. but anyone who actually... <laughs> okay, real Scotsman probably, I don't know. It's good enough for me. It's good enough. Oh, yeah, no, we never met the trower in Myriad. I'm sure we uh, He turned into the Traveler that you guys didn't talk to all that much. The guy with the staff? Uh, yeah, Barry Wally. Oh, well, we didn't talk to him. Though. Yeah. I'm Scottish and I've heard worse. Nice. I think because, uh, man, I don't know. It's hard out there. I just wish I could become that man. Just leave streaming, go out into the woods and become throw a, a thrower. Or... Yeah. Awful. Source. M. Scottish, but good effort. Damn it! <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. We'll never... We'll never do it again while you're here. We'll check the chat first. Source. M. Scottish. I like that. Could always be worse. I mean, running a... Running a game, you want people to have different voices, but you only got so many. 
I guess it's like the Path of Exile talk. Some of the items in the game have to be the bad ones. And Barry Wally? He's one of the bad ones. Well, that's, maybe that's why we didn't talk to him much. Oh, no, I don't remember any bad voices. Well, also the NPCs didn't approach you to tell you their life stories and how you need to help them. So you didn't talk to him because he didn't approach you. I was excited to go around the town and talk to all of them, but that True. we got it interrupted. I was really excited to do that. Always funny when people try, though. Yeah, we're trying. I'll have to find that documentary and truly study him. And devote myself, my life to it. Oh, I wonder if Octo could do it. Or Joe. Next time, next time you hang out with Octo, get to ask for the Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough trumpets. In the world are you talking about, Lord? Hello, travelers. I have an urgent quest I need you to complete, but first, let me tell you about my childhood. That's how I greet everyone. Hey there, handsome. You're looking capable. You dare enter my domain? That's how you greet people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's go check and see what the blacksmith has for sale. You dare enter my domain on today, the day where it's all 50% off. Remember a map tools command. I thought I had a button for this. I hate NPCs that say traveler on a general basis. Hello, traveler. Like, how do they know? <laughs> oh no, actually, uh, I live in an RV around the corner. It doesn't even have wheels, but nice assumption. Take a drink. Bravo, by the way, Ashley. These different looks are all great. We're gonna find a. This is kind of a. Um. We're gonna have to shuffle the looks at the end and, and see how much different they actually look. But you gotta have looks first in order to shuffle through something. Greetings, traveler. It's quite a treasure you have there in that Roderick cube. Thanks for noticing.
whenever I hear that guy talking when you're playing that game, it really like you were the original. <laughs> oh, he's, like he's doing me. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good impression of Steve. Don't know how to feel. Nothing weird's even happening. You're weirding us out. This is my first stream where you've been in the chat, and I gotta say, it got weirder when you showed up. I don't know who you're talking to, but I agree. Got him. Bam! Tag teamed. <laughs> yeah, but how? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hey, Cole. Oh yeah, when Ashley was reading Dune, that was the big thing of how every sentence had like a made up word in it. <laughs> it was good though. They were good words. They all sounded really real. You could tell the guy put a lot of effort into making up words, which is hard to do. Someone who has made up words before. Put your hand in my gum jabba. <laughs> Your oh, excuse, you with my... excuse me? I thought the gum jabar was the needle, wasn't it? That was the box you put your hand in. Right, the needle had its own name, even though it was just a, just a needle. Yeah, the gum jabar, that was it. <laughs> put your hand in my gum jar. <laughs> it's the <laughs> test, the final test. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, when's that movie coming out? I'm gonna watch it. Okay. And then it's like, then I get credit for reading the book, right? Can they just skip the first Dune movie and just skip to Dune 4? Which actually would probably make a really boring movie. Because I think most of that book is like sitting in a throne room talking to a slug. Yeah, the guy is... Wait, what if I spoil an ancient book I just thought? A book from like 20 years ago. That's the one where the guy is the sandworm. And yeah. he still rules his kingdom as a sandworm, which is great. Spoilers. I'm gonna... Spoilers. Man, it's on the fucking book cover. Him giving orders as a worm? Well, no, just like the giant worm with a face. Oh, yeah, he had a human face, didn't he? When do we fight that, Amir? That definitely fits in. Yeah. Yeah. Ad adequate spoiler warning for a really old thing. Yep. There is a Billy and Mandy episode where it's the whole, like, fourth book into one episode. I can really, you know, honestly, just skip all of Dune and just watch that episode. It's pretty great. I had never read Dune, but I really liked that episode. A 500-page monologue. <laughs> I believe it. Like, I remember really enjoying the book, but also I remember... I don't remember any part of the book taking place outside of one room. What? That's the movie you want? Well, no, I, I, was, I said as I, as I said that, fourth book, good book, but I realized, yeah, nothing really actually happens in it, except for, like, one thing. <laughs> what do they talk about, Delta? Um, I don't know. It's like a lot of weird 
philosophy shit because he's the god emperor at this point that can see like all of time. Oh. So like anything that can happen, you, you can just hear from him. So why would you have to go have a different scene when he can tell you the scene? The reader will never leave this room. Oh shit! But I want to grow up. Ever it's gone back and watched Pinky the Brain or the rewatched Pinky and the Brain or the Animaniacs? No, but I did rewatch Teen Titans once. Relived the memories. is getting me in the mood to paint some of my D&D &D minis. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Animaniacs? <laughs> I was never really into Pinky in the Brain or that. Which I think is the same thing. <laughs> I don't even know. Similar? Yeah, they had shorts in like the same show where it would cut to one or the other. All I remember about Animaniacs was that Wacko was really cute. Because he made me laugh. Poggers. There's a book called The Mezzanine. The whole novel is thinking while riding an escalator. <laughs> yep. Weirdly enough, like, if Charlie Kaufman made it, I'd probably watch it. Ashley, if you think funny people are cute, why are you with Stir? Mm. I don't think about that. Yeah, he was funny until his tumor left. I'll never get that back. <laughs> when the guy who cut it out showed it to me, I should have just fucking lunged forward and eaten it. <laughs> Retain my power. Just the like Hillary have... eating the babies. People have no idea what we're talking about. Um... Stir once developed a lipoma on his side, which is like a little hardened chunk of flesh. Something real, real gross. For a while, we thought he'd need like general anesthetic surgery to get it removed. Then he just showed up at his doctor's office and the doctor's like, oh, I'll cut that out right now. And he did. After months. And um, ever since that tumor Bruh. was cut out, um, Stir's never been fine. Yeah, I got like MRIs and shit. I got thrown around to each and every person. I show up in this guy's office and he's like, oh, I'll get that right now. And I was like, what? I was like ready to take off work. I was like in the morning phase like, oh, what if he doesn't wake up from the surgery? They came home, it's like, eh, it's, it's done. <laughs> well, I didn't go there to get it cut out. He was like the specialist that was gonna, I don't know, I was just gonna go talk to him. And he was like, yeah, just lay down, I'll do it. Did it hurt? Nope. What? Did it even hurt? No. Did he numb it? Yeah. Oh. Who are you drawing right now? I'm drawing, um... How to explain. A bunch of different hairstyles, noses, mouths, and eyes over the same template so that um, we can create a lot of NPC tokens at the same time of different people.
bam, different hair. Anesthetics have come a really long way, man. From remembering, like, even going to the dentist as a kid. What, they didn't numb you up then? I mean, they did, but it's just so much... It feels so much betterer now. I remember they used the gas on me once, and they haven't done that ever again. Like, the silly laughing gas stuff that makes you loopy. Mm-hmm. You know what? It wasn't that fun. So you're still strapped to a dentist chair. Do they still use that anymore? I don't know what they do. I'll have to ask my sister. She's a dentist. Or... She is a dental surgeon. Yeah. Big dent. My sister did work in Stir's Teeth. Isn't that cool? Do you think she implanted a tracking device, by the way? Yeah. I'm wondering why you've been beeping. She told me which one had the cyanide in it. <laughs> Remote activated. Yeah, you better uh, behave. I am beehived. Beehived? Behaved. Oh. Come on! What? Pay attention! What? What? Knox on... Knox, it sounds familiar. Nitrous oxide, that's what it was. Okay, cool. Oh, just like the Fast and the Furious? Nitrous? Yeah, that's what they use on you. Oh. I recently had a filling done where they pretty much put stuff on my teeth to stop them from hurting. Even though there was no cavity there, there was no rot. But whenever I would touch that spot with like my toothbrush, my whole head would explode. And they tried to explain it like, oh yeah, uh, there's a certain specific configuration of the nerves as they go under and it seems like your nerves are exposed now what they fix smile wow <laughs> you are too sensitive to be stronger i know You have that problem too? Yeah, I've like never heard of that. I've my whole life, like I'm always amazed when something new can go wrong. <laughs> so I'm just realizing now with the item generation, you can find a book and the book is the weapon. You can find a large book that requires more hands to hold because of how big the book is. So it takes <laughs> more actions to use because it's bigger. I guess you gotta read the whole thing. I don't know. giant double book. Oh, I love that shit. Three-handed book. They're two-handed by default. A racist two-handed book? I gotta do the, uh, the loot. The modifications that books can roll. That can just 
target specific types of monsters, in case you're wondering about the context for that. Uh, yeah, I can put that one on it. But I gotta, I gotta actually make the table. Aaron Ashley, do you have an all-time favorite book? Doing right for you? Uh, I mean, I haven't uh, really read enough to even... Like, Dune was okay. Holy shit. But it feels like it's wrong to give it the favorite, because it was okay. I've read thousands of books. Found The Running Man to be the most entertaining book I've ever read. That and the Harry Potter books back in the day when I was... At the same age as Harry, when each book came out? Oh my god. I would lock myself in my room, would not come out. It'd only take like two or three days because I was a quick reader, but... I will miss having experiences like that. What an enthusiastic reader, I know. I should be going crazy. I was the same. You know, chat, like, the third one came out on the same day as my birthday. And somehow my parents wrangled a local reporter into coming and taking a picture of me with my Harry Potter collection and being on the front page of the newspaper. That's scary. I married her. Yeah. I was so excited to see my picture in the newspaper, and then they, um... Like, my parents bought a whole stack of them because they're they're those parents. And they all, every single one of them, had the exact same rip over my face. Like, the paper was ripped. Come on, bro. Little nerd girl addicted to demonic wizard books. I was dope. I was addicted to a lot of books. Animorphs, second best. Well, it said Harry Potter was second best. No, Animorphs for second. Harry Potter third. That series where the rats got all smart and started their own society. Rats of Nim. Red wall books. Read all of those. Read them well. <laughs> Red wall. The worst book I've read? All right. Um, so during college, you get to a, a weird point where, or at least I got to a weird point where I was like spending my parents' money because I was out of the house, you know, and I really didn't hated spending it because it just felt like such a a drain on them. So I didn't want to buy anything anymore. So I would go and get free books when I could um, from the library, and I got one where the love interest of the story was a man named Oceanus, like an ocean. <laughs> It was the worst book I've ever read because the entire book was an entire essay about how hot Oceanus was. Ocean Man. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the plot in the book. Somebody was trying to get Oceanus' seed to make like the perfect child. I'm like, what is this book? Like, because he was so hot. Nice. Yep. But they didn't want to... They, like, hired a lady to seduce him, but then it turned out he was gay, and then... So many twists. <laughs> trying to get this man, beautiful man's seed. Be. It wasn't a pornographic book. It was... I swear to you, it wasn't. Did they get the nut, though? I did not last a long... In I did not last long enough in the book to find out. I 
How old were you? I was in college. I remember another one. It was kind of in a similar vein. It was also free. It was about the world's hottest vampires and vampire hunters. Oh, I remember. That's because I went to a convention. I went to PAX East and somebody just handed me their fucking entire 300 page novel for free because they were desperate to get somebody to read it. This stuff is great. Because again, in this book, I'm noticing similar themes in these terrible books. Like all of these vampires slash vampire hunters were so incredibly hot because the godlike figure in the book would go throughout the entire world and collect only the hottest people. It's like like borders on like eugenics, right? Like was I reading like eugenic shit? Propaganda? I think I was. Sounds pretty hot. Tacos? No, I'm telling you about the worst books I've ever read. Tacos? Can't eat tacos anymore. Mm. You know this. I didn't. Yeah, that's over. Tacos portion of our life is done. At least my life. But you can have tacos. Yeah, now you're judging me. I'm not. You can hear it in her voice. You are my king. My king eats whatever he wants. The last Twilight book? I think I started in Twilight because my sister had it. My sister has the worst taste in everything, so... She really enjoyed it. But, oh, I remember now. My sister read Twilight. She had the paperback. But she was reading it in the bathtub. And she accidentally dropped the Twilight book in the bathtub. So it got super wet. It filled up with water. And it, like, expanded. <laughs> expanded outward. All the pages fluffed up. So then it looked, when she handed it to me, like a thousand-page novel. <laughs> and I was looking at her like, You read this? You read all of the- I'm not gonna finish this. And I started into it and I was like, things happen. You think Stephanie Meyer is just trolling now? You don't think she was just trolling from the beginning? Writing about the world's hottest vampire like we were discussing with all these free books? That's what you write about in order to start your career. It's hot people. And then you're trapped mm. into writing about hot people, and then you never get taken seriously. So wait, should, I, should Myriad be about hot people or not? It doesn't have to be. Because you're not relying on... Uh, the public to read it. Yeah, I, I agree, man child. It's just a business, like anything else. Like, if you can write the story you want and people still love it, it's like a miracle. Beard is already about hot people. Kenneth was in it. I hate Scaly in chat. Kenneth is pretty cute. That's different. Hot people can't read. <laughs> Notters. Charlie Bone, not that one. I think the longest book I ever read was Pillars of the Earth. It's like over a thousand pages. 
That was pretty cool. Invite people new to D&D? &D? I'd really rather just play with friends and most of my friends have already played it in some form. Like, it'd be really weird if instead of playing with my friends, I only played with VTubers I've never talked to before. Can you imagine? That would be wild. Can't. Pat, the VTubers did nothing wrong. VTubers are cool. To In the context of running D&D for them, because most of them, because they're relying on their avatar, are much more expressive, are already super accustomed to roleplay and a lot better at it than the average person. True facts. Like the, it's uh... Like... What was that original group? With... I don't really know any of them with Iron Mouse and all of them. It seems like they had really good chemistry, but I... I didn't watch too much of it because I always had a hard time getting into a campaign when nobody knew anything. And you had and like the whole first three sessions were explaining how to play D D. And it's like I I I've heard all this so many times and know it all. I remember their characters, but I don't remember Momo, Silvervale, yeah. Was Kelly in that one? No, she's in a different one. But yeah, um, Stir has talked about how he wanted to start YouTube as a way to get him more used to talking because he wasn't comfortable with it. And I feel like VTubers can use it like as a conduit towards that same thing because when you have a character that you're playing up, it can help you have stuff to say, you know? That's a cool concept. And then I go and try to explain what VTubers are to my sister, and she just is so confused. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it would be fun to play, to do a group like that, but also, I don't plan on running very many games, and then if I do a group like that, then I have to tell my friends no, which isn't fun. Yoichi. Do you know a Yoichi? Nope. Hmm. I know headache because I got one talking to oh. you. No, I don't know why. I've just been like weird sleepy all day. It's catching up to me. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten anything all day either. Wait, no, I ate, I ate a normal breakfast. You did. You ate eggs. Well, eggs. just eggs nothing else in them and that was for breakfast and now it's like seven we don't have any cheese you got the craft sliced cheese in there i had some of that it might be ancient secret? what it's fucking ancient yeah i suspect it <laughs> it was still That's why it, I haven't been eating it. it tasted fine and i haven't thrown up it ta <laughs> want to know another secret oh god okay I ate it too. <laughs> I was desperate for tea. I was willing to risk it. Singies? Hey, I don't advocate for singles. I'll never buy them again. It was a phase a long time ago. I'm not sure those can inspire. Yeah, I think those are like cockroaches. They're not actual food, <laughs> really.
if but what I only singles to put in medicine for my dog. Hey, get your dog better cheese. Hey <laughs> chat, wanna know no other secret? Did any of you watch uh, Steve's stream yesterday? We're just talking about Path of Exile. Do you remember how long that stream was? Oh god. What, what is about to be said? <laughs> Anyone remember how long that stream was? The entire time he was streaming, our dog was shut into the closet. Oh. And we didn't know! True. Poor mouse. Yeah, we lost her. I was like, wait, wait a minute, where's Mouse after the stream? <laughs> so I was going through the whole apartment, like, picking up blankets, like, where's the dog? <laughs> She likes to go in his closet and climb into his underwear box and sleep in there. So she had done that and he had closed it in there without noting. And, um, Mouth does not make a sound for any reason. So she didn't beg, she didn't cry, she didn't bark. She just laid down and slept. And I knew she slept because later on she was zooming around running with all his energy. Focus. Just focus. Lord Dick on Man Woody. Thanks for the gift. Mouse is... I think she's 10. Probably didn't know anything was wrong. I don't know. Because, yeah, one time I was on a walk with her um, and I was looking at my phone or doing something else and I didn't realize that I dropped her leash and I just kept going for about like 30 feet. And then I realized what I did. I'm like, oh my God, I whip around. She's standing there in the same exact spot where I dropped the leash, just waiting. She didn't follow me. Just like went on pause. <laughs> oh. Kind of does the same thing at the vet. Goes on pause. Yeah, she's a good girl. Are you sure it's a real dog? Well, sometimes when I walk her, people say, Nice rat! As I pass them by. Which is pretty funny. You can't say that. It's kind of true. Rat dog. See, lag, that joke doesn't make sense with strangers. Problem. He's a mouse. Her name is Mouse. Big dogs are better than small dogs anyway. Wrong! They're equal. My parents have big dogs, and they're a lot of fun. They are much, much needier than Mouse, though. They are always trying to get your attention under you and in your face. Pretty. Where a mouse will just like curl up and like, hey, whatever. Like all the cliches about small dogs, like, oh, they, they bark a lot. Mouse does not bark. She does pee everywhere. That's the only thing. She doesn't bite strangers either. She just doesn't like them. 
smaller the dog, the more it acts like a cat? No, no way. Moon's cats were pretty cute. Does Mouse bark? No. She... If she sees, like, another dog outside or somebody going by the window, she'll go... Ooh. Like, under her breath. She'll, like, inflate for a second. Ooh. <laughs> nah. Good night, Yoshi. You dare walk past my home. Yeah, that's what she's saying. But, like, quietly. To the company stream, you're welcome. It's just a mimicking stir. What you working on, Steve? Uh, ordering food. My head hurts really bad. I want to eat the food. Setting up the loot table for manuscripts. And figuring out how they should work. I think they just deal damage on a diagonal. They penetrate targets. They deal psychic damage. And I'll have to do a whole bunch of skills to put on them, but not that much. I don't know. Looks like a really fun game. However, however, since I don't know every little thing about it, I'm sure screwing up in that game would just make me crazy. There are a lot of really, really, really tiny things that can just, your pawns will die. Like, oh, I forgot to allow this pawn to eat. Eat food. Ever. Or this pawn is only eating human bodies. And then you gotta dig into a little menu to find what's what's wrong. It's like it almost feels like buggy, but it's not, because it's always your fault. I wanna take the time to learn it. Yeah, I guess like distilled that thought in me there. I do like watching. Even if you su succeed almost flawlessly, your pawns will suffer more than you will. Like, I don't care if they suffer, I like, want to win. Like, I can see myself fire embling the shit out of it and just resetting every single time one little tiny thing goes wrong. One, like, Tend that's below 80% reset. I'll get it next time. Winning is not the point. I love winning. <laughs> if you can't win and she, Ashley doesn't think she'll win, she won't play. Exactly. I love winning too much. That's why... That's why I draw, because you can win. <laughs> the only opponent is myself. Oh yeah, I won this hair right now. Great job. Woo! We don't even know what the next Bethesda game looks like yet. How long has it been? Uh, like 10 years. Hmm. Because, yeah, I think Skyrim had 10 year anniversary.
Oh, but yeah, Is it there was Fallout, Fallout 4. Bethesda, though? Yeah, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was 2014, but 76 was more. <gasps> Thanks, Pop Tarts. You know just what to say to me. Man, I could really eat that nugget. <laughs> the spinning kind of like mocks you, doesn't it? It's like it's, coming. It's like it's right there. The 3D <laughs> is so real, I feel like I could grab it. Speaking of, where is the emotes on screen so I can get some floating nuggets? I don't like that. This is my stream. You don't like the flying nuggets? I've told you this. Okay, do you hate me? No, honey. You're allowed to be your own person. It's I, I, just... I identify as a floating nugget. Okay. I mean, you could have told me that before we got married, but I guess I'm married to a flying nugget. Why did you say the T word to me? The what? Taco? Yeah. Because I wanted a taco. I'm not going to give in, but I will be mad about it. Power word. They're really good. If you're, if you're an Austin, you'll understand. Give me some oo woo pixie hair. Is Ooh. your head hurt bad? We can we can shut down. Yeah, I was gonna I'm say we should we should kind of wearing out myself. We should get rid of these people in the chat by ending. Fully right, dismantle they don't them. Us anymore. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, let me like finish this hair, and we'll get rid of them. You just got here. That's why spellverse. That was your first mistake. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Next Ashley stream when I'm not even done with this one. Oh, and I'm like thinking about doing it again is like, oh man, maybe in a few years. No, I'm kidding. It was fun. And it got a lot done during it, too, which is another thing. I can't... Scroll around on websites while I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. Keep me locked in. Ooh, maybe next time we'll work on... The Cool Dragon. Because Stur's Myriad Dragons have a really unique look. Which is going to be pretty neat to show off. They look like hoarders? In a way. Covered in garbage. All right, this is the girl that'll fix all your life problems. Oh, I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> she has no life of her own. She's going to devote the next months to fixing everything that's wrong. Bring you out of that depression, buddy.
I get to ban someone before the end of the stream. Bam! Awesome. Thanks for that. That felt good. All right. Can we get a goodbye str screen going on? Hello. Does that mean yes? Hello? Hello? Oh, we're supposed to say goodbye. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone who subbed. There's a lot of people who gifted. That was pretty cool. Um. Yeah, no, my head hurts. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. We'll talk at you guys later. For coming in. I'll uh, see if there's anyone who can be hosted. Uh, and I'm going to run some ads at the end because... It doesn't matter. Right, they're playing golf again. Absolutely disgusting. They still drunk? I don't know. 